Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. We'll read verse 2 to 5 and then we'll read verse 9. Ezekiel 47. Holy, holy, holy. And the people say, Holy, holy, holy. Lord, you are holy, holy, holy. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. Lord, we say, Holy, Holy, Holy. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. Is the Lord, is the Lord God Almighty. He's the Lord God Almighty. The earth is full of your glory. Lord, our lives are full of your glory. One more time. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. And the people cry, Holy, Holy, Holy. Then he brought me out of the way of the gate northwards and led me about the way without unto the utter gate that looked eastward. And behold, there ran out waters on the right side. Verse 3. And when the man that had a line in his hands went forth eastward, he measured a thousand cubits. And he brought me through the waters. And he says, the waters were to my ankles. Verse 4. He says, again, after a season of proving, after a season of dealing, he saw a need to step up the grace. And he said, and again he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters. He says, and the waters were to my knees. Verse 4 again, we're not done. Verse 4, please help us. Again, he measured a thousand cubits and he brought me through and the waters were to my loins. Verse 5. Afterwards, he measured a thousand and he said it was a river that I could not pass over. He says, for the waters were risen, waters to swim in, a river that could not be passed over. Let's read verse 9. Verse 9. He says, and it shall come to pass. Listen. The implication of the encounter with that river. It says, it shall come to pass that everything that liveth, which moveth, whithersoever the river shall come, it says, shall live. 
then he says and there shall be a very great multitude of fish because these waters shall come hither for they shall be healed and everything shall leave without the river coming that means it's, it's a river that will bring effect it will be so striking the bible says whenever the river comes to a region everything that is supposed to be alive that is dead that river has capacity to bring it back to life and the people say holy 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 hallelujah the last one month has been a season of profound encounters for me profound encounters um i cannot begin to describe to you the experiences that i've had in the last one month very profound and deep spiritual experiences please pay attention and the lord began to show me so many things not just the prophetic word but direction for the body of christ that will be able to bring alignment we thank god as a ministry for what he has used this ministry to do to influence the life of people across this nation we thank god for the testimonies but let me tell you something compared to what god is about to do what you have seen are just shadows in the name of jesus christ i want you to be a believer this year make up your mind to believe every word that comes from the mouth of god the bible says they had the word just like we did it says but the word did not profit them make up your mind that you will not argue with the word of god this year don't, don't sit down and be philosophical how shall these things be the river will just pass you by you've got to be determined this year and say lord every word that comes from you i will receive it and insist that it produces results in my life hallelujah god is a god that walks on earth with times and seasons and he has communicated to us as a family of faith that he, he tends to multiply the grace the anointing the access that he has given us and to give us influence grace talks of empowerment grace talks of access grace talks of ability grace talks of the anointing the very ability of god it's important for us to understand this The grace of God talks of his capacity, his anointing, his ability. That force that compels results. Scripture lets us know that grace can be multiplied. That grace is in measures. Listen please. The Bible says grace and peace be multiplied unto you grace and peace be multiplied that means a man can grow in grace a ministry can grow in grace prophetically revealing to us in Ezekiel 47 that he started with the river at the level of the ankle then to the knees then to the loins and then it was a river that covered the prophet and he says that river flowed to regions and every territory that river entered it began to cause changes it caused that which was dead to come alive i want you to know that grace can be multiplied every level you have seen in god is only a shadow of the possibility that is in god are we together every level of grace you have seen if you think you saw the power of god in 2015 watch what god does this year if you think you saw miracles signs and wonders if you think you saw the dispensing of the word of god watch what he does this year grace can multiply grace can multiply 
and let me tell you something when grace multiplies it has a physical effect there is an evidence there's no such thing as grace multiplying and you are the only one who knows no when grace multiplies everything around you responds to the effect of that multiplication grace can multiply grace can multiply that's why you can see a man and track his life and know that grace has multiplied you can see a man of god and see the dispensing of the grace of god upon his life and you can study the track record of that growth you can know that a man started at this level but at this current level he's functioning at an altitude in the spirit that was not what he just like you can know that a man has backslidden you can know that a man was functioning at this dimension of grace but right now he is still functioning but you know that there has been a lag in the operation of the spirit grace and peace be multiplied the energy of god the ability of the spirit the power of the holy ghost that can be resident within a man compelling results he said it can multiply everything that is alive grows if the power of god is alive it can grow in a man hallelujah the healing anointing can multiply the wisdom of god can multiply the grace for finances can multiply access to deep realities in the spirit can multiply the eyes to see and the ears to hear can multiply and this is the season god intends to multiply everything every operation of the spirit you have seen Hallelujah. Influence is the ability the ability to compel the ideology of a man the ideology of a people, the ideology of a territory, the ability to compel the ideology of a territory to bend towards a particular direction without using human force and cruelty is called influence. If I'm able to do something to you that compels you to adjust to my paradigm of thinking, that's an influence. I like the 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 uh, um, the um, poster that was created by the media department. You see that match? The, the matches one having the fire, and all he needs to do is go close enough. He will compel all the rest to catch that fire. We call that influence. The ability to cause men to buy into your ideologies, to institutionalize your ideology such that even those who do not agree with you will be compelled to walk in that reality this is what influence is the bible says it was noised abroad that jesus was in town and all kinds of people found themselves around those who didn't like him those who were critics those who were indifferent those who were passionately loyal for reasons they could not explain they found themselves the bible says he went up the mountain they still followed him that's influence listen the key to kingdom advancement is not just evangelism as we know the key to kingdom advancement is influence the ability to bring a territory under like a spell you bring a territory under an understanding you compel people to think in a certain way. You compel the economy of a territory to operate in a certain trajectory. It's called influence. Did you know that there is a level of influence you can exert on a territory such that even those who do not believe in God will be forced to adopt certain languages in their English because that becomes the language of communication. It's called influence. Once upon a time, there were no networks in Nigeria. Not one, aside from Nitel. But a communications company came and marketed a proposal. And right now, it has become an addiction. 
people literally cry when their phones get missing and they are on their way to go and do welcome back they, they have they have influenced you so much they created a package called welcome back in other words when you run away i create a provision to come under my spell now that's influence there are people in the village who cannot spell jesus but they know coca-cola influence every tribe in the world knows coca-cola the name is coca-cola no tribe calls anything by their own it's called coca-cola the three most influential names brands right in the world although it's been upgraded now number one is jesus number two michael jackson before he died number three coca-cola think about that right now the most influential brand in the world is google apple followed by google the kingdom of god will have to ascend in such a way and a manner that it will no longer just be one-on-one -on -one evangelism the territory forces people all roads must lead to the cross all roads no matter how people try to do it we come to a point where our thoughts become that which is aligned to the kingdom the songs become that which is aligned to the kingdom if they must crack any joke it must have a paradigm with the kingdom you won't do see the difference between the holy spirit and saddam hussein is this both of them try to exact influence but one brings his influence with physical threats are we together but the holy ghost reveals to you the excellency of his way are you getting the point now he shows you the all-surpassing superiority of working with him there is a level give us micah chapter 4 please one and two and then i begin to explain to us very quickly the things that the lord has put in my heart micah chapter 4 1 and 2 it's a scripture that speaks powerfully about the prophetic state of the church can we read it together one to read but in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the lord shall be established in the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills it says and people shall what flow to it listen he never said they will call the people look at this he never said they will call the people something will happen upon that mountain that will force people literally it's a compelling power they will flow to it he says and how many nations please help me how many nations he says and many nations shall come and say come let us go where will the evangelism happen among themselves an ability will make them to start drawing themselves and say come let us go up to the mountain of the lord to the house of the god of jacob he says and he will what teach us he will change our mindsets he will adjust our ideologies he says and we will walk in his path for the lord shall go forth from zion and the word of the lord from jerusalem this is what will happen let me tell you the church is not a weakling there is an energy and the ability of the ecclesia god's very church we will arise in a mighty way and shock creation the key is not to take the world i see a lot of people dreaming and say i'm going to take every world i tell them that's not how when god says you will take over the earth the key is to create a prototype of your agenda in a territory that's the key the kingdom always spreads like a seed there are people who have not done well where god where they are domiciled and they are thinking of no 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 the key is to plant a prototype of your ideology and that becomes the platform the template from which you will influence other territories you must jesus christ came to israel jerusalem created a prototype of his life and then compelled certain people called the sent ones and began to send them through regions so everywhere they went they were envoys of those ideologies backed up by the government that sent them this is the key to strategic kingdom advancement let me tell you something it's not just by traveling 
planting a church in london uk there's a time and a place for that but the greatest key to maximum influence is to be able to represent the ideology of a, of the christ so strategically in a region that every other region can look at it as a template that's how hillsong spread abroad they stood in australia and did something so striking this year zaria will be a place of pilgrimage i tell you you will see week after the same way you go to jerusalem write this down you will see people trooping in just waiting because it is the mountain of the lord the place where god has chosen to build his habitation it's an election of grace Are we together? Isaiah chapter 60. Let's start from verse 1, but my focus is 3. Isaiah 60. Arise, he says, shine for thy light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you verse 2 for behold darkness shall cover the earth and cross darkness the people it says but the lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen listen listen let me tell you something don't ever let anything you read on the newspaper scare you this year god has shown me this year it's a glorious year for the church write it down believe me i'm telling you it's it's not a it, it has never been a thing of confusion about the drop in oil price and all of these things this is something we said years ago and we're insulted for it but let me tell you you will see the glory of the church emerge see satan moves by ministering fear fear is a spirit are we together now and the bible tells us that as a man thinketh so he is and so the media while in a in in a state of sincerity to address what they call the state of the nation have gone to market an ideology that makes people think oh this year i don't know about you but this year is a year for me of multiplied grace and influence the bible says when you see darkness start rejoicing it's a sign there will be a separation this year like egypt and goshen that on one side there was darkness but then on another side they were not even aware of what was happening ah don't call what they call conspiracy conspiracy he said when men say that means you are not men when men say there is a casting down those who have been altered by ability of the spirit will say there is a lifting up i refuse to make any declaration that is against the word of god no government no newspaper will deceive me into agreeing with the agenda of darkness for behold the darkness shall cover the earth listen it says and cross darkness the people but upon but the lord shall arise upon you and his glory shall be seen upon you oh hallelujah let's read verse 3 this is my scripture goodness it says and gentle shall what stop he didn't say i will go and call them Makatala Sotaya. something will happen upon my life this year the wisdom of the spirit the multiplication of his grace he said it will compel gentiles they will come by themselves gentiles will come not to you to your light something you carry will compel attention it has nothing to do with whether they like you or not there is a level of prosperity you can enter there is a level of the anointing access to the dimensions of the spirit it will compel nations to come and then it gets better it says and their kings those that represent governments those that represent mountains it says their kings will come your light will start rising listen was it not in your bible when solomon's glory started rising every other person came but the queen of sheba refused to come she had her pride but that light was so bright the queen of sheba had to take gifts 
and come and say, who is this Solomon? Listen, the Bible says when she came to Solomon, she saw the arrangement of his table and saw everything. She said half of what was told me. He said, I was not told half of what I'm seeing now. He said when she saw everything, there was no spirit in her. It's God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability is working in me. Shake up a bottle it's God's ability. It is God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. Hallelujah. Please sit down. Mm, we are believers in this place. We are believers in this place. Listen, this is the year you must take God seriously. When God speaks, he's not your lecturer. He's not suggesting. When God speaks, he's not your boss in office. When God speaks, he looks at himself first, whether he can defend what he's about to say, and then he will say it. He speaks on the strength of his might. Have you not read that God looked in heaven to find who was greater than him? Because he wanted to make a dangerous statement that he could not lie. So he was looking for a witness that was greater than him. And not finding any, he swore by himself. What is our expectation in this season? Some of these things I'm going to be reading out were the exact words of the Lord as it came to me. The Lord told me that in this season... He will be granting us supernatural access to the following. Please write. Supernatural access to number one, revelations. There will be a depth of revelation. We will break into a spiritual fountain of revelation. Hallelujah. And this is the scripture of the Lord. In fact, it was before the scripture came. It was an impression upon my heart. And the Bible tells us, remember in scripture listen please remember in scripture when the bible says two men at a place called emmaus they were walking and jesus was with them but they did not know he was the one that the word is near you does not mean you understand it that you are reading it they were with jesus the christ the living word the resurrected christ he was walking with them but they did not know he was the one listen many people just carry bible and think they are growing spiritually others think because they are looking at it they convince themselves that they are growing others have memory verses and crime verses which is not bad but they think because of it is a sign that they are growing and the bible says when they were at table he broke the bread and their eyes were open listen this is the year god will give us access to light light illumination illumination he says you will arise and shine for your light is come not because you are tired of sitting down there is a light that god will give you that will drive out certain darkness in your life forever forever he will give us access to anointings there are graces there are abilities of the spirit brothers and sisters please hear me there is nobody who is doing great things for god who does it by the strength of the flesh no no there is an anointing that is responsible for every result you see in the kingdom there is an anointing it's not about struggling there is a grace your own labor is to enter that dimension but once you are there you are there are we together there is a level of grace that god wants to multiply in your life not just please personalize this thing i'm taking out time to teach it because i want you to believe it you must believe that in my life there is a level of grace there is a level of the anointing 
the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference it doesn't make the difference the anointing is the difference a handkerchief with the anointing upon all of a sudden becomes supernatural a donkey with an anointing upon it all of a sudden becomes a prophet oh come on the anointing is never trivialize the anointing and the effect of it in your life there are doors only certain kinds of graces can open are we together we must believe God to multiply anointings in our lives God will give us access to people very important God will give us access to resources God will give us access to opportunities to the end that we will birth greater levels of salvation encounters transformation and revival he will supply all these things to the end that will be able to birth through the spirit greater levels of salvation greater levels of encounters greater levels of transformation greater levels of revivals there's an army rising up there's an army rising up in this very season there's an army rising up they will break every chain break every chain they will break every chain please write it down quickly there are five areas that i want us to focus on this year please listen five areas very quickly for us to maximize the prophetic word that the lord has given there are five areas that the lord would want us to focus and pay attention number one on our spiritual growth the first area of focus that you must contend in the spirit that there must be multiplication of grace is on your spiritual growth please listen this year there will be multiplied grace for notable spiritual progress are, are you listening to me that you can look by december and know that you 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 enter a dimension in the spirit there must be notable spiritual growth in your life this year please make sure you write it down god is releasing grace for notable spiritual growth you must increase your passion for god i'm teaching you how to maximize the demands on your own path you must you must take advantage of this grace and increase your passion for god increase your passion for the things of god and increase your passion for the house of god this is not the year where you miss koinonia anyhow for reasons say there was rain or oh, my cloth there was no iron to I no 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 there must be a desperation for God a desperation for the things of God a desperation for the house of God it was David that said I'd rather be a doorkeeper in your house have you read that scripture that he so passionately loved the house of God listen the foundation of the quality experience of the prophetic word of the lord this year is hinged upon your increased passion for god god told me something and i'm going to say it exactly as he said this is what he said he said tell my people to give me time and take me seriously i wrote it down tell my people to give me time god is asking for time this year listen because all you have in your life is time whoever you give your time to you have given your life to so don't say you have given your life to god and not give him time this is not the year of mising time 
you 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 sleep for 10 hours use 10 hours watching films which is all right but this is the year you must invest in his presence invest in his presence like a business and see the returns that comes with you increase passion for god your passion must increase for spiritual activities prayer and fasting the study of the word this is not the year for laziness is god speaking to us your prayer life must jack back if 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 you know your prayer life is dying please don't let anybody deceive you there is trouble are we together if anything that attacks your prayer life in 2016 is the greatest attack from the kingdom of darkness men ought always to pray Luke 18 verse 1 he spake a parable to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint prayer is the place where people generate strength and capacity you can know when a man has the absence of prayer there is nothing that can replace the energy that prayer brings please give God time tell your neighbor give God time this year talk to him talk to him seriously give God time it's a strong admonition say give God time in 2016 don't be busy looking for money running around looking for money looking for job thank God for those things there is a place for them but brothers and sisters I call you to a place where you will hit the jackpot for this year invest in his presence the presence of God will give you what money will never give you I know we used to nod when I say but many of us don't believe it his presence prayer and fasting don't eat away your destiny this year prayer and fasting quality fasting done with revelation not compulsion to prove to people no 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 don't allow religion to destroy you this year but you must pray brothers and sisters maximize your night time i've taught you this thing it's just that many you see ba many of us don't take seriously the word of the lord that comes if you are obedient to the truth of god's words you'll be amazed to see the results in your life maximize your night times i have learned this is a mystery of tremendous spiritual power the bible says and the evening came and the morning he never mentioned morning before evening there is a mystery of the night time you are alone with worship even if it's for 30 minutes people are snoring around and you are praying lord i establish realities i command my morning i decree and declare it's my year of supernatural influence it's my year of multiplied grace and you are speaking and inspiration is coming and you are writing you soak yourself in worship you create like a spiritual magnetic field you get up in the morning and you are compelling things that people cannot understand do you not know that the morning is like a woman that has a womb? Go and read your Bible. It was a prophet that let us know that things can be planted in the womb of the morning. He gives the morning the character of a woman. And just like a man plants a seed in the womb of his wife and expects her to deliver, the delivery time is your daytime. The night is when you impregnate your day with prophecy and allow it to deliver to you realities many people let me tell you the engine room of real power is to pray your secret place especially night prayers and you walk in the morning and you encounter miracles and breakthroughs he told job has thou commanded thy morning not has thou commanded thy night hallelujah This year, you must invest in quality teaching and materials. Please. Get all the koinonia messages you can. Some of us pride ourselves around distributing koinonia messages to people, which is very good, but never listen to it ourselves. 
you carry it around and you are happy to be a, a, an, a, an evangelist you are distributing it around ah you mean you know apostle ah, ah, apostle i can't even call him now you are busy marketing which is okay but you are dying don't forget the bible says let it not be that i haven't preached i myself god knows how many times i sit down and soak in koinonia messages i'm blasting in tongues and listening to them and where apostle joshua selman is prophesying i get down on my knees and i'm receiving it for my life please take your destiny seriously there is a message for everything every major thing you are looking for you find out that the flesh is growing in you there is a message locate one flog yourself back to alignment you are dying spiritually find a message you are having one a get miracle service message and fast forward it to the place where prophecy started and see please engage the word this year tell your neighbor engage the word do it engage the word the same way you engage a man in a conversation put pressure on the word to produce results for you don't sit down and say oh, if god wants it to work i've been doing it no you are not work it work it work out your salvation with fear and trembling so your spiritual life i'm determined this year that my spiritual life will enter a dimension that has never been god has shown me the possibilities he can go with me if i'm if i'm interested and he asked me whether i'm interested what do you think my answer is my goodness lead me lord i will follow lead me lord i will go you have called me and i will answer lead me lord i will go god is calling us to a higher level never be satisfied with where you are are you hearing what i'm saying please write it down write it i refuse to be satisfied with where i am i know you've seen some results in your spiritual life you've seen the prophetic grace you've seen uh, an anointing you've seen some level of result but it's child's play compared to where god wants to take you if you are interested and you stay through with god he will surprise you this year james chapter 4 verse 8 says that when we draw near to him he says he will draw near to us when you draw near to him you must take that step with expectation the second area of focus this year for us to maximize this prophetic word is the area of mental transformation mental transformation romans chapter 12 verse 2 listen listen I've taught us again and again that the quality of a man's life is at the mercy of his ideology. This year, I want us to insist that we are going to lay aside every stumbling block we've held on to that is stopping us. Please, those outside, I hope we are listening. Can you shout hallelujah, those outside? Praise the Lord. Make sure that you pay the price take advantage of the grace of God and contend for transformation the Bible says and be not conformed to this world the Greek word aeon the thinking pattern that comes with this age be not conformed it says refuse it reject it reject their way of talking reject their behavior reject their way of responding to life it's a choice he says be not conformed to this world then he says but be ye transformed right transformed how by the renewing of your mind that's what the bible says that we are transformed not by wishing by the renewing of our minds focus on sustaining a renewed and transformed mind focus don't say it's like that everybody in your family 
that poverty mindset must die a natural death this year you must reject it let them hate you no problem reject it don't let people carry their failure and bring it upon you as an impartation don't let anybody tell you financial prosperity is not important don't let anybody tell you doing well in your life is not important you never replace one dimension of kingdom progress for another you can know god and still be poor are we together you can be praying in tongues and still be a bad husband there must be balance that's the true church that is shown to us in revelations 19. you can listen to my message the full gospel i've always frowned at the exaggeration of the body of christ emphasizing one truth to the detriment of another so i'm teaching you on spiritual growth and forgetting the fact that you have children to feed you have school fees to pay no god is not that kind of god there must be a balance he said come and i will show you the lamb's wife he said he showed me a city that was equal in length equal in breadth equal in depth no exaggeration that's the true church i will never be the preacher who will mislead you to emphasize one area of spiritual growth at the detriment of another you will get balance so that it is okay to serve god and be rich are we together it is okay to serve god and be a ceo and lead we keep preaching all these um religious messages in church that move people closer to god and draw them away from the world and then we become victims of the decisions of those who control these mountains but in this season we reject it we are going like daniels with the anointing of the spirit but we will still enter the system the great commission was going into the world not carry a truck to the streets that's all right but he said enter the system go ye into cosmos and influence it with an ideology that's the gospel but you can never rise above and beyond the transformed mind please believe me when i tell you your level of right, life right now is what your mindset has produced for you this is uncomfortably true you must believe it there is something about your understanding that is keeping you where you are from entitlement mentality that makes us believe it is government that should pay us right to those who believe that all they need to succeed in life is to get a job is that really true a job is wonderful i pray for you at the end of the service i'll pray for you but let me tell you a job cannot fund your assignment you know that right a job cannot build a house for you a job can only help you to barely survive exactly what satan wants barely survive so that you never hear god you never sow seeds you never give you are so busy making money you don't have time for the agenda of god i reject that kind of living in the name of jesus christ mary said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man oh god i'm 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 strange to this kind of experience but God said the power of the highest that's how it will happen so don't sit down wondering will God really change my story will God really wipe my tears are you kidding you've forgotten the God who can change people he said by this time tomorrow listen I believe God oh I told you in this year make sure you insist on being a believer that I receive the word of God don't let the enemy come and steal the seed which is the word of God in January we can all believe Two weeks after now you find a lot of people frowning at their convictions as though they were playing games in church mental transformation you must lay down wrong and limiting ideologies lay them down ideologies that let you think that you cannot be a leader where you are ideologies that train you to do things that are not consistent with the ways of god is devilish and you must lay it down my father is wicked it's not only your father many fathers have been wicked but people triumph through that wickedness are we together nobody likes me you are not alone you are never alone you are plenty that people don't like you have to stop giving excuses tell your neighbor say stop giving excuses stop explaining why you should not move forward there are so many people they will explain to you 
if only I had space, I had a room to myself, my prayer life would be back. Now that you don't have, what will you do with the one that is there? You must create a strategy. I would have fasted, but the truth is, the way my nutrition is, I'm not even sure. It's not like I have, I understand the program. It's just as it comes. No, those things are flimsy excuses. Take away those limiting mindsets. I live a very supernatural life. I don't see impossibility in my life. And I don't say it just as a, a, a way of motivation. I really do. I don't see impossibilities in my life. I'm only limited by the voice of the Spirit. The Bible says, can two walk together except they be agree? You and the Holy Spirit cannot walk together if you don't agree with Him. God is telling you, this is what I open up before you. Are you willing? And you say, Holy Spirit, it's just because you didn't grow up in my family. Uh, hey. Lay your hands on your head and pray for one minute. And say, Lord, everything that is resident in my mind that is not of you must give way. Please pray. Please pray. As he thinketh in his heart, so he is. Please pray, pray out every limiting belief. Oh, I believe God for anything. He can take me anywhere, he can lift me from the dunghill. This I believe. He can crown me with honor and glory. This I believe. He can bring an anointing in my life. I refuse to let my background limit me i refuse to let the awareness of where i come from and what has happened in my life limit me those outside are you praying lay your hands on your head i reject it every negative mindset tying down my life every negative mindset tying down my business every negative mindset tying down my education are you praying this is the year i call the devil a liar i reject him i reject him i reject that word it's a choice i choose to believe god i choose to believe god hallelujah don't ever sit back and allow the devil destroy you listen everything you see did not just happen by mistake it takes a man to see what others are not seeing to go where others will not go this is the year don't let people talk you down and lie to you it will take your faith you must believe believe in god and commit yourself don't be afraid of making mistakes are you hearing what i'm saying don't be afraid of making mistakes don't live in this this carefree world where everybody say take it easy and they kill you god is inspiring you to start up a business that can bail your family and people are saying take it easy you know the way nigeria is well please let me tell you something if you if you talk and live like them you will die like them are we together somebody looks at you as a student and says you are on 1.5 are you aware of that yet every time you sleep you see god doing great things in your life how shall these things be this is the year to believe and one way to believe is to run away from all those naysayers there are people who are negative by default. They are your enemies this year. Make sure you run away from them intentionally. You say, why are you running away from us? It's like you are running. It's not like I am running. I'm leaving you. I intend to grow. Listen. Listen. All this loyalty to people who will destroy your life. We were childhood friends. So what? I intend to grow. Any man that is not seeing what I'm seeing should not be working with me. Are we together? Come, let me use you for. Okay, you are a cameraman. Come. 
Watch this. Turn. All right, move forward. Let's all move forward. Go, go, go. Move forward. Look at this. His forward is not my forward. Are we together? We are all attempting to move forward. It just so happens that for some reason, he is unwilling to bend to my direction. I'm not your enemy. I'm just not going where you are going. I'm not saying where you are going is wrong. I'm just saying it's not my address. Are we together? Please, this is the year you must sustain courage to look at people and say, no, I, I'm not a musician. I'm not against your music ministry. But God didn't call me to sing. Please, don't force me to do Rehaza when I'm sleeping. I'm a businessman. I love your music. May God anoint you. I will encourage you. When I make the money, I will support your album. But for now, let me focus. Listen, listen. I know we are laughing. You think I'm playing. This came out of the secret place. Days of intense fasting with full concentration. Not laughing around. It's amazing how many people never make it because of distraction. You're on your way going to do something. You are there singing. And God is saying, I already prepared people. See, when you are not in your assigned place, you will always feel secondary. You will find everybody there and not find a space for yourself. You now get up and say, I'm into logistics. You want to be like Aaron. It's not working. Later you say, I think I like her. Look, settle down this year. Re-edit your mind and find where God has placed you and died there. Tell yourself, if it's to die, I will die there. Stop escorting men visionlessly. Even as a pastor, this is the year to know exactly what God told you. Your assignment is not the great commission. Are we together? The great commission is for everybody. Set to and find what is the grace, what anointing. God, what did you tell me? Oh, 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 oh. Sing it unto the Lord. Oh, 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 oh. must lay aside still on point two let's hurry up lay aside wrong behavioral traits we are still on that point two mental transformation first peter 2 verse 1 please give it to us quickly first peter 2 verse 1 anger envy pride bitterness dishonor all these traits that have kept you down this is the year you make up your mind I'm not gossiping about people because I found out everybody I'm gossiping about has moved forward and left me alone this year I want to move forward at least let somebody talk about me the Bible says wherefore doing what? laying aside laying aside all malice and guile and hypocrisies and envies and what? evil speaking there are some people when you sit down close to them five minutes your spirit is down because they, they have what we call evil speakings always bad news always what someone said no you must change you must change anger you must lay it aside this year god open a door your anger closed it god open a door your anger closed it your husband was coming your anger drove him your wife was almost arriving your anger sent her away this year make up your mind that anger will not destroy my destiny there are people who do, you were at the verge of breakthroughs but this anger rage that's how we are in our family I ask my mother we're all like that when we are angry just stay away please i want you to maximize this multiplied grace the one you had last year it has increased now so there's no excuse maximize the grace and say no to anger because it will destroy you envy envy you never do anything with your life you watch people have results and you are looking for what they do let me tell you something about envy 
it never affects the one who you are talking about or the one you are envious it's, it's such a frustrating venture it doesn't touch the bear even if it at least let it touch it it's better to fight directly fighting you sit down and tie yourself down and then the unfortunate thing is the bible says the part of the justice as a shining light so for how long will you hold it envy pride this year as a family of faith and as individuals we must run away from pride brothers and sisters pride is a killer are we together believing you can make it without god looking down on others pushing people down to show you are successful no lay it down bitterness there are people who just say i'm not happy why I say this world is a sad world hey you have a long journey a long journey to go say i'm just sad why is everywhere like this the place is moody and the devil says this is exactly what i'm looking for this year i choose to be joyful the bible says, rejoice always it didn't say rejoice when you have money rejoice always and in case you forget again i say rejoice number three the third area the lord wants us to focus on is our health first corinthians 6 verse 12 to 20 we don't have the time to read it our health the bible tells you authoritatively that your body is the temple of the lord jesus christ right everyone say it say my body is the temple of the holy spirit say one more time my body is the temple of the holy spirit listen it honors god for you to take care of your body are we together this year the way you punished your body in 2015 you have to rethink this year are we together it's very important you must live a healthy and a balanced life no laziness and no overstressing yourself that's the balance there are those who are sluggish and lazy spiritually it flows down intellectually it now culminates physically inertia for everything it takes you two days to do what five minutes can do laziness is still an insult to the body and then over stressing yourself hallelujah when you read about the wealth reviver you will know that what killed the pioneer of the wealth reviver was not necessarily any demonic attack he literally stretched himself to death no matter how busy you are i believe that if i'm not mistaken i probably will may be one of the busiest people among us here but you must still create time to rest you may not have quantity of time but you must have quality eat well god is faithful please eat well this year don't punish yourself you need to add one more ingredient that you just look and say if i add this no what if you don't add it and you die see you, you think intelligently this year please please we are at different levels but pay serious attention to your health when you really fall sick you will find out that all you have is time and your life are we together you can have all the money in this world if you play with your health MOG all the men of God here listen please find time to rest walk your life out but rest when you preach they will mourn you for seven days and people will continue preaching are we together i shared with you my story when the lord delivered me and showed me told me to look at the crucifix and for the first time i realized i did not die for the world no my name is not jesus my name is joshua selman the hebrew joshua means jehoshua yes jesus but i am not jesus of nazareth my father was not a carpenter and so i realized that i am an ambassador not the christ so you must rest one of the most comforting scriptures for me because everything once there's no scriptural backing i don't believe it it says and god rested come on now not an angels and god 
whether you call it sleeping or ceasing from work i know that at that period he didn't do anything do it he said let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus it's not just the mind to walk it's the mind to rest how many people go to hospitals today and doctors tell them honestly there's nothing wrong they say look i know what i'm the one feeling what is wrong they say there's nothing we've checked just rest and they go back and rest and they get up strong sleep is a mystery are you hearing what i'm saying sleep is a mystery god used it to do a lot of things you can still advance the kingdom even as you rest it was in adam's sleep that eve came it was in jacob's sleep that he had a dream it was in joseph's sleep that he had direction for where to run away with jesus sometimes after you have worshipped and run around sleep your way into the revelation that you wake up with and it will move you oh yes absolutely if jacob did not sleep he would never know that was the gate of heaven his senses were alive looking for breakthrough and sleep and he saw angels if sleep will give me an encounter i will sleep because i need it i need serious encounters this year if you don't see it when you are awake why don't you sleep eat well rest well your personal hygiene th that's all right your personal hygiene i won't talk much there i'm not a medical practitioner but i'm one who intends to live long listen listen take care of yourself and your personal hygiene please don't say it does not matter do not let the financial situation in your pocket reflect in your life and your body you live anyhow you wear clothes smelling sweat all around you don't care you just smell it and say is it too bad your neighbor smells and no no don't just laugh i have to say it i have the responsibility to say it i've told us about that bathing you do with three quarter bucket somebody as tall as me you run and enter and while you are talking in less than one your phone is ringing before it finishes ringing five or six times you are out <laughs> my brother you didn't bath i i assure you you didn't bath if that's what you have been doing it must change your health food that has spoiled you are there eat he said you are i can still warm it if it has spot let it go we are still going to have miracle services but i'm saying we can minimize casualties for nothing <laughs> hallelujah number four number four please write number four the fourth area finances god wants us to focus and experience multiplied grace Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 9 it's our year of multiplied grace and influence and that even in the area of finances very quickly Deuteronomy 29 verse 9 I'd like us to read everyone please one to read what's the condition is a key therefore keep these words of this covenant and he said do them he didn't just say keep them in your jot and leave them there he said do them practice them in truth he says that you must prosper write the following to guide us through our finances number one set clear financial goals set clear financial goals this year and work with the holy spirit to achieve them I want to be rich is a mirage you you'll never get blessed that way i want to be rich will never get you rich listen there is a mystery about writing and clarity the bible says, write the vision then it says make it plain what is your financial target don't, don't write foolish childish things i need one bill no 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 start gradually faith is not stupidity start gradually write something that is able to take you from where you are to the next level don't say how will it come leave that that's not your business you get frustrated when you are thinking of how it will come the bible says just like you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child nor the way of the wind 
you don't know how the wind comes you don't know how a seed becomes bones in a child is that not a mystery that a woman carries a seed and within the space of nine months that seed becomes bones hard bones becomes teeth that can stay for for hundreds of years and not just disintegrate and leave that's a mystery he said that one leave it to god your job is to get the seed in the womb of the woman the remaining activity is god's work there are certain things about the equation of success you can never understand there is a mystery in it that is exclusive to the office of god trying to understand it will frustrate you brothers and sisters keep your own part and watch the miracle work out set clear financial goals what is your financial goal for this year as a ministry we have financial goals in my personal life i have financial goals you must set financial goals number two to experience that grace in your finances master the laws of favor and abundance master the laws that govern the release of favor and abundance favor is a law preachers have said favor happens anyhow is a lie is a lie favor it is the the dispensing of favor that happens automatically favor is initiated by exact spiritual laws that can be understood and reproduced it may take time see i'm human i know that it's not easy but i'm telling you if you master those laws you have built yourself out from this mess that is eating on the earth master the laws of favor you can get the teachings financial dominion part one to four and the wealthy place part one to four please make sure you get these teachings sit with them sit with them understand what god has said and then practice the laws do them he said now that you know these things he said happy are you when you do them you've got to do them you've got to do them the laws of tithing i want you to pay attention to four laws when it comes to giving this year your tithing please look up let me preach to you i want you to be determined this year that you are going to be faithful in tithing first and foremost because you love the lord and second because you want to activate the operation of the blessing in your life don't say i'm poor how much do i have how much do i give god that's your way out that's your way out never forget i already shared with us that your tithing is like a spiritual circumcision remember our teaching the wealthy place that your tithing is a spiritual circumcision that authorizes god to come and partner with you melchizedek the high priest received the tithe of abraham and did what he spoke the blessing over him and the bible says christ today is our melchizedek what was the office of melchizedek what was the function he received tight and prophesied on the givers so jesus in that office of melchizedek receives your tithe and releases activates the blessing and i told you what the blessing is a dimension of the operation of the holy spirit that attracts to your life people opportunities and resources that's the blessing it's like an electromagnetic field when it comes upon your life everyone that comes within that circumference is compelled to respond to you in another way it's like a charm when it is on you have you heard people call you and say i don't know god just put it in my mind to bless you listen nobody gets up and blesses another person just by default if you are waiting for that you are dreaming something must compel them it's an operation of god called the father of spirits i don't want to start there are loaded messages for this year i don't want to go ahead of myself praise the lord there is a very extensive curriculum that will stretch you this year until you step into that dimension of grace very very important the father of spirits god gave me the revelation remember i taught us in james i think 226 or so it says for as the body without the spirit anything you do just from the flesh realm without a spirit component cannot work that business without the spirit will die your family without the spirit will die he said for the body without the spirit is dead 
so you must pay attention to practicing these laws when people in the shrine want to kill a man how do they do it they leave the man snoring in his room and use some enchantments is that true they invoke the spirit of that man you see it in nigerian films right and he appears that man is sleeping he's not even aware they called forth his spirit and separated it from his body and the spirit appeared in the shrine and then they gave the spirit instruction from today become unfaithful are we together from today become poor it's a programming upon his spirit and then the spirit returns to the body and the helpless body gets up and becomes a slave to prophecy it was not aware of that's the same way god operates he's called the father of spirits he can summon any spirit and give them instructions on your behalf so men don't know why they are just thinking about you and they say the lord led me Benga, the lord led me to show you ten thousand another person said ten thousand people say you are lucky no you are not lucky there is a spiritual climate responsible for that result this year force yourself to get it i must step into that climate that compels men i returned into this city i think two days ago as i was stepping in not even many people knew that i i, I think aside from the protocol not many people knew that i was around as soon as i arrived it was like a force that started compelling people apostle sir are you around i have a little gift for you someone brought hamper someone brought this and i said this thing works it's not about announcing oh, 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 oh. hands on your head in one minute and prophesy and say i'm breaking the back of poverty this year please pray i sensed an anointing that's why i was telling us to pray lay your hands on your head and prophesy it's a year of multiplied grace multiplied grace influenced by the spirit access to uncommon resources those outside make sure you are praying i will wipe the tears of my family this year what they could not do i'm about to arise god who had commanded light to shine out of darkness light to shine out of obscurity. Hallelujah. Psalm one one two, please, very quickly. Psalm one one two. Psalm 112. Four areas I want you to focus on. Under finances. One is your tithing. Please be determined this year. That you are going to be serious. Discipline yourself. Don't think it's a gimmick by men of God. Don't listen to those nonsense that newspapers carry around. Castigating men of God. Yes, I know that there are people who are driven whose God is their belly. But please, the mere existence of error does not mean you throw the baby and the bad water together. Don't stand. The Bible says, blessed is the man who does not walk in the, the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. He said, praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that fears the Lord, that delights greatly in his commands. Verse 2 let's hurry up media help us his seed shall be mighty that's influence upon the earth 
he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed verse 3 i'd like you to read it and take it as a prophecy for your life one to go he says wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endure it forever wealth and riches wealth and riches wealth and riches wealth and riches shall be in his house like the ark of god came upon the house of Oben edom and he began to prosper within three months Oben edom's life changed just because the ark came upon his house your worship offerings don't come to the house of god empty-handed see let me tell you let me tell you why many of us seem to be stranded in terms of having an offering to give or a worship offering because you are not a sower the bible says god gives seed to the sower if you say oh god please i don't want to come to your house just like that believe me god gives seed to the sower but you think when you hold that money you are coming to give a man of god to enrich the man no i've told you any man that truly fears god does not live off the resources of his members he lives off his obedience to kingdom principles it's a terrible thing to depend on your members to bless you you are tied to their mood swings the day they are ready to bless you no let me trust god for myself and believe in him as jehovah Jireh. your seats of honor i've shown you the mystery of sowing upwards look at me when you sow downwards you walk in divine health are you hearing what i'm saying you don't sow downwards to step into prosperity you sow downwards to create a track record that will speak for you in the day of obscurity but when you want to step into a level you sow upwards you must learn this don't sow carelessly don't just look around you are not a harbor say go and see beggars on the street and give five beggars money and your life will change please we are not practicing shamanism this is christianity are we together you must learn god's principles seeds of honor find people that carry graces and levels that you desire so we call it sowing into an anointing you are sowing into an anointing and it authorizes you to step into that possibility learn this learn this learn to sow into anointings that will lift you into that level you must practice this consistently this year and finally kingdom building i call it kingdom investment bishop oyedepo used to shout this and say it with all his heart kenneth copeland would shout this again listen i'm telling you when you commit yourself to kingdom projects it will amaze you how God will step into your life. How God will step into your life. Kingdom building is to find a need in the house of God and participate actively in meeting that need. I want to encourage you this year that you must commit yourself. Find needs in the body of Christ. Work as your departments. Someone can sit down and say, ah, koinonia needs a work clock three of us let's come together and buy for the house not joshua selman and you commit and god is watching you and you authorize increase in your life the bible says there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth he said there is he that withholdeth more than his meat i want to ask you a question did the body of christ benefit from your resources last year that a that may explain why you are where you are financially may god never give me any money that his house will not benefit in i say it again may it never come to me any money that comes into my life that the house of god cannot benefit in is a cost to me i'm sharing with you very deep secrets that can open your heavens there are times that people bring seeds all kinds of seeds and while i'm excited god says uh uh this seed is for the house of god quietly with jesus joy not grudgingly saying god said you god is faithful 
was it yesterday or day before yesterday i was rejoicing someone sent the seed into my account i was smiling and the lord told me internet transfer straight this ministry that ministry god you are faithful you won't destroy me if i die i die in your hands let your finances be so flexible like dr mike mudok will say that god can do business with you i was discussing with a prof last year one one of our daddies in area a and he spoke to me he said son tell the lord you want to be his treasurer ah, that's that statement resonated in my head that man sat me down and started discussing with me his work with god from childhood and how god had been faithful in his life and in his old age he said ask the lord that he should make you his treasurer do you know what it means for god to make you his treasurer oh god make me your treasurer in 2016 can god trust you with heaven's resources do you have the flexibility to release it when he makes demands it's my own it's my money i worked for it it's my sweat no but thou shall remember the lord your god because you can forget thou shall remember the lord your god he said for it is he that giveth the power please give your way out of poverty this year sow your way out of poverty this year number five this is the last one and will pray relationships I want you to pay attention to this especially those outside please pay very close attention to what I'm saying I want you to invest this year invest in godly and healthy relationships do you know the reason why doors never open for many of us we don't have helpers in our lives there's nobody you have honored enough to remember you in the days of adversity there are people who don't have money but they never lack there is always someone they can cry to they are not somebody who remembers them in the days of pain listen money is not everything are you hearing what i'm saying believe me money is very important but money is not everything educate yourself enough to know that money does not do everything hallelujah went to the bank today with the protocol to collect my 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 atm my card had expired and i was going to collect it and one two one two I'm sure maybe one or two of them may even be here one two one two they just made things happen for us and within minutes we're out of that place the power of relationships relationships will give you what money cannot give you relationship will give you hectares of land that you don't have money to get are you hearing what i'm saying relationship will give you things there are people today who can stay in somebody's rented apartment and never pay because of relationship if you have to pay for everything in life is dangerous it will kill you relationships the key to relationship is honor and friendliness when you make people feel like idiots around you you will pay for it in the days to come are we together all that big man is him i'm a big man i'm this and that no you must learn to relate with people. hallelujah Ada is here many of you may not know him they were part of what aaron calls first second generation ENI. that's him there he came around this guy used to wash my clothes cook for me he did this almost every day that was his work oh. believe me when i tell you this it was marriage until he got married and he left do you think i'll ever forget him i would drop my last penny to see that he smiles he's called blessed by association how many of you remember that teaching he and i those days blessed by association i thought on the mystery on how people can enjoy the sweat of others because they have learned to connect the bible says god told abraham to go out. he said and lot went with him just by going with abraham he was implicated be blessed 
it's called blessed by association who do you know today that can speak for you in high places don't say it does not matter i learned this from my dad my dad has mastered the art of keeping relationships he knows almost everybody somewhere if it's military there must be a soldier that is his friend police there must be somebody that's a powerful life they take you to police station there's somebody who can advocate for you not to leave you to die there you are going to the court there is somebody who can speak for you i pray for you may god raise people this year that in any area there will be voices that will speak for you listen we suffer needlessly in life because we have money but we do not have voices that speak for us there's a business proposal there are five of you having it you have all the qualifications but you neglected relationships somebody you used to know who can now speak for you you are anointed but you ignored it because we pastors told you it's not important just pray and serve god no connect with people you don't connect with people because they are perfect connect with them now before it becomes every day makes it more expensive to connect connect and have a testimony that you drank gary together right and you will be able to partake of their bounty destiny help us you must look for these people and pray them into your life remember the bible talk, it talks to us about naaman we talk a lot about naaman but we forget the little maid who encouraged him you know it was a little slave girl she said there is a prophet please talk to the king to allow you she persuaded him and he went to elisha elisha said go and bath and he was angry he said are there no other beautiful pools and the lady begged him when she pleaded with him he went to bath and his destiny changed connect with people don't ignore people this year and say this one cannot speak english we are the committee of beautiful girls we are the committee of of those who have we found we are the handsome guys we are the ones who are this we are the ones who are intelligent we are the ones who work in banks we are the business moguls that spirit cast it out this year in the mighty name of jesus christ learn to connect with people you don't know who is who this world is a very small world very very small world i've gone to places and i've been amazed at people who i used to know and how they have been of tremendous help You go somewhere and you are supposed to struggle and go through certain things and they facilitate it for you when my international passport expired one of our he's a general he's a, a, a chairman board of, of trustees he went to you know just with his influence i mean this is a general now this man drove me in his car by himself with army uniform and i came up people thought i was a general so i was just smiling oh this year may you hang on somebody's success and smile through it it mustn't always be your own you can smile your way through relationships and they say yes you are just a parasite no problem at least i'm moving forward and he went there when the woman saw the way he was running around he just told me sit down i was embarrassed frankly he was running around doing everything and um, within 30 minutes my passport was uh, was ready something they anyway follow the protocol life is in stages don't go and force people in passport office and they throw you out and jail you but the point is the woman looked at him and i prayed with her then i think it was last year or year before last we went to minister in uh, the nigerian immigration the, the immigration service in, in abuja their chapel we now went to minister there and after i was done i was greeting the people guess who i saw that madam she had been shifted there i looked at her and i said ah, mommy how are you she was greeting me she said, oh i knew there was something about you and i connected i greeted her so well so that if my passport expires again <laughs> learn how to maintain relationships see listen please we are, we, are, we are praying now i'm teaching you secrets that will really put you on top there are people who don't have money but they will never cry you won't see their tears there is always somebody there is always somebody hallelujah what has been your outlook about relationships
people in the world know how to keep this relationship. Have you seen somebody go to drink? No money. Yet he goes to the beer parlor. He will invite and wife that by. Is it not this joint? Immediately he enters. Ah, oh, God, lucky. How are you there now? And sits down. Give him 10 minutes. Somebody he knows will come in. And he said, bros, no day, no day. And they just say, Abba, serve him. And he would drink and argue about football and argue about everything. Add pepper soup to it. Belt and go back home. No money. But he had a capital called relationships. Hold the hands of your neighbor. I won't harm you with words from my mouth. I love you. I need you to say it again one more time. I won't harm you with words from my mouth. I love you. I need you to survive. May your life never be such that you will go in the midst of people who you used to know, but there is nobody to help you. May that never be your testimony in Jesus' name. Please invest in healthy relationships. I'm telling you this. Invest in people are the conduits for miracles. Somebody knows somebody who knows somebody who can wipe your tears. It's amazing to see how close you are, how close you are to your miracle if you can just know who leads you there. Learn how to walk and live with people. That's the second point under relationships. Hold on, Mike. Just pause. I want everybody to listen to what I want to say. Learn how to live and walk with people. The Bible says, he who wants friends must first show himself friendly. Please, you must learn how to live with people. Many of us are Christians, but we don't know how to live with people. Let me tell you what we want. A friend is not somebody who is you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? A friend may be somebody who has similar ideologies, but it cannot be you. There are many of us, the only person who can relate with you is another you. Unfortunately, it doesn't exist. That you are a friend to people does not mean that they don't make mistakes. It doesn't mean they are perfect in themselves. There are many of us, the lifespan of our friendship is three days. You must fight with somebody. And it's not necessarily an issue of demonic attack. It's just wisdom. You don't understand. Expect disappointment from friends. I don't say expect it in a negative way. I'm saying make room for it. Incorporate it as part. Expect betrayal. Expect anything and let it not surprise you when it happens. God can bring the greatest gold in your life in an imperfect vessel. If you know how to look beyond the flaws of men, you will find treasures in them that will change your life. I don't like this lady. She's a jealous lady. But she's intelligent. And you need her intelligence. Why don't you ignore the jealousy? Are we together? I don't like this man. He's arrogant. But he's anointed. Why don't you quietly let him ignore the arrogance and open up your destiny and go? I don't like this woman. She's too pompous. But she has access to those you need. Please learn how to walk with people i've taught us here but let me repeat for those who have come the highest psychological need of any man this is the key to friendship the lord taught me this the highest psychological need of any man alive is the need to feel loved to feel valued and to feel appreciated never forget this leaders incorporate this as you walk with people pastors incorporate this the extent to which comes sam the extent to which I make Sam feel loved and valued is the extent to which we become friends. Are we together? That does not mean I cannot rebuke him. That does not mean I cannot talk to him. But that he knows fundamentally that even when I rebuke him, I love him truly from my heart. Thank you, Sam. Are we together? Learn to make people feel comfortable around you. Don't fight people for sustaining ideologies that are different from you. You are not a member of this church. So don't come near me. We are the group of this. No, we are not a member of this. Your belief is this. You are from which church? I don't believe in your pastor. Okay, believe in the person. 
relationships. God taught me this. I have seen it in my life. There are few things I pay for in my life. I am telling you this. And it's not because I'm a man of God. There are few things those who walk close to me know. There are few things I pay for in this life. There is always somebody somewhere and it's just a call away. Do you know how you can help people? Influence is all about connecting with people that gives you access to platforms. Platforms. There are places I minister today I never, I never would be able to minister but on the strength of healthy relationships. There are people God has brought into my life today who will die to see me do well. I mean die. They will give their lives literally to see me do well. Do you have such people in your life? If you don't have it, you are poor. If you don't have it, you are poor. Invest in God. Don't just be bragging around and making people feel bad and you are moving around and looking. At... No, no, no. The person you reject today will rise up faster than you ever imagined. And let me tell you something. You can change the future, but you cannot change history. People have memories like elephants. You do something wrong, after 10 years, they will haunt you. They don't know whether you have been born again in that 10 years or you've rededicated your life to Christ. They just say, I see this stupid girl. I remember her in Zion. Is she not the one? She's the one. And you are coming. You are born again. You are even a pastor now. Where a pastor's wife. But carelessness of the past will haunt you. And you will have to start explaining yourself. No, I've changed. I know I was bad before. Use the opportunity now. Little things like fighting over seats. To insulting people. Gossiping about people. God is watching. Your destiny too is watching. You must make sure you are friends to people. Everywhere I go, I try to make the people feel honored. I greet them. Have you learned something tonight? Relationships. You want to see multiplied grace? Let there be multiplied relationships. Godly relationships. You have to honor people. You get up in the morning, you greet your roommates. Good morning. Don't get up and say, see, if not for condition, I won't be in this state. You are not my mate at all. You are not even my younger brother. See, please, leave all those things. Don't use age to intimidate anybody. You get up, you greet. And you, when they greet you, you reciprocate. You don't sit down and say, uh -huh. how are you? Good morning. All this living your life to yourself. I cook my food by myself. I don't share with anybody. I go to the market by myself. You will leave destiny by yourself. And that's when you will know how painful it is to ignore people. You can have all the money, but no access. Over three people called me today. Three people called me today to send names for jobs. I don't need it. Three people. I'm, I'm serious. Three people called me today and said, ah, there's, there are some federal government jobs that are opening. Do you have a few people? I said, ah, yes, so I have people. I said, okay, this one will give you one slot. This one, hurry up and do this. It's called influence. It's called influence. That's what politicians do. One letter can wipe your tears. This is how miracles happen. I'm teaching you wisdom. You see me dwelling on this point. Because many of us have ignored relationships. Ignored relationships. There are certain people that come from other university campuses and other places. They come here and I see them, I mark their face. Sometimes when I go around their regions to minister, as people are trying to see me, I, I look at their face and I say, I remember, are you not the one that did this, bought me what? They say, yes, sir. And I say, no, 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 let this guy come. Follow us to our hotel room. Access. I see him looking at his friends. I paid the price. I came and now I have to go. May God give you influence this year. Access to people, quality people, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus Christ. Access to people. What you are looking for is in the hand of somebody. Don't look for that thing. Look for a relationship with him. You will have access to it. Does a wife, a, a good husband and a good wife, does the wife really have to say, sorry, do I have a share in your inheritance? All she did was what? He got married to her and he also partakes of it. Stop looking for people's money. Look for relationships.
that's why many of us never get blessed you come to a rich man and you are eyeing you just hear making a call say eh, okay transfer 15 add five to it and you're like ah we are in the right place don't allow that attitude to cheat you this year listen i do my possible best to build relationship with people above money i have met millionaires i have met billionaires god is my witness i've never opened my mouth to say give me one naira not because i may not need it you kill relationships unnecessarily when your motive is revealed to be wrong so pay the price it's not easy but as much as it's within your power focus on relationship not this there are people who come and meet a man of god they don't want relationship they just want anointing man of god i've heard of all the things you are doing and i need the same result and then they kneel down and raise one envelope they say i came with this as if I, you know you almost feel like telling them my brother please stand up and walk away because he would think something came upon him but nothing really happened it's just that sometimes when they disturb you you just do it so they will go but you and god know that nothing really happened relationship elijah had the sons of the prophet but elisha followed him and established a relationship finally how to walk in the prophetic world there are two laws i want you to never forget number one is the law of encounter it's changed my life i've taught us jeremiah 29 13 he says and ye will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart he says and ye shall seek me and find me is one powerful law that has worked in my life encounter is what births transformation when you encounter god when you encounter a dimension of him it will speak in your life please respect the law of encounter press for his presence press for his presence press for his presence allow people to run around and move around but stay i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting on you lord i don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. On you. Seek God with all your heart this year. Be, be addicted to His presence. Don't just do it as a koinonia thing. I told you, God said, tell them to give me time. When you give God time, He will reveal His glory in your life. Number two. The law of honor this is the key for impartation honor honor let me talk for two minutes on honor hebrews 7 verse 7 says and without contradiction the lesser listen god has already designed his system the lesser is blessed of the greater every dimension you want to enter is somebody's current experience if you know how to honor your way you will honor your way cheaply into anointings honor is so powerful it can bring the harvest of somebody into your life hallelujah i'm a product of many anointings i have mastered the law of honor you must learn this learn this honor your way into unbelievable dimensions of grace honor your way into people's lives honor your way into their anointings honor the house of god the bible says honor all men it says honor the king when you have that attitude of honor i'm telling you the sky will only be a starting point for you this year i've made up my mind to honor every grace i come across genuinely and truthfully that's why we provide bosses it's a symbol of honor we spend a lot there but we will never stop because it's a seed of honor i don't know what graces you carry it's a privilege to be a preacher but it does not mean i am better than you there are people carrying graces here that i probably am praying for 
when I'm able to honor you by helping out to take you to your destination is a seed of honor that will bring impartation it's a big secret in this ministry you honor people first from your heart not just through money money is important but the, the principal way of honor is to esteem a man and esteem the grace he carries truly both the person and the office he represents not just office the person and the office hallelujah we are going to pray there are many platforms that are available this year to bless us the koinonia services are there the school of ministry is there the forms will be out immediately during the announcement we will announce it right this night the forms will be out there are many platforms plunge into it don't be half-hearted you will be cheated if you are staying plunge yourself and see what god does in your life please rise up on your feet and let's pray please participate in the prayer because there is a prophecy that i want to release on us lift up your voice and thank the lord for this word supernatural grace multiplied grace multiplied grace multiplied grace lift your voice inside and outside bless the lord almighty the god of the heavens and the earth bless him it's a good year for the body of christ it's a good year for the body of christ it's a good year for koinonia by the spirit of the living god Mando protobosco preta catele poco to presca de bala la bala la bala la bala la bala. Shekata prekata de poco ya la bala bala. Hallelujah. Just three prayer points quickly. Prayer point number one. I like you to pray and say, Lord, I receive your word and I will run with it this year. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lord, I receive it. I receive your word as a believer. I receive your word. Sheka bakata la poko soto preach. Mande kala cross kada bread na kaparia da bash. Are you praying, Koinonia? Lord, we receive your word. Shembre tos koto pra kata balada bash. But I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded. I am persuaded that He is able. He is able. Hallelujah. 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 Prayer point number two. Lord, make me addicted to your presence this year. That I will seek you. I will seek your word. I will seek prayer. I will seek your presence. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Oh, shake it back at the Lord, I seek you this year like never before. Like never before. I seek you with all my heart, all my might, all my soul. Pray revival to my prayer life. Revival to my word study life. Give me encounter, so called supernatural visitations this year. Dreams, visions, encounters with the power of the Holy Ghost that will take me to a new dimension in the spirit. <laughs> Let 
Breakete ne boko sopre ya ne balala ba. Embra kata barata kaskete breakete. Shke paratos. Shke tete ne boko skopre te ka. Embre tos ko teke ne ke teke ne boj. Embros kaba baba kata ne ko skeberi ne boj. Alleluia. Alleluia. Prayer point number three. Lord, this year will be a year of results. I must hold on to tangible evidences. Lift your voice. Results. This must be a year of results. Outside, are you praying? This must be a year of results. There must be proofs in my life. There must be evidences in my life. Shekete proko shekete lebo kosebes. Emprata kata taka tana bakata prata gele bana na box. Jere re 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 na box na 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 bari na bana na bana na ba. Miracles, signs, wonders. The demonstration of the power of God. The demonstration of the word of God. In my life. In my ministry. Pray. In my business. In my education. In my family. There must be results. In 2016. <laughs> Em pro conto pros conto prega de bala de bos, chega te 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 repo conto fresh, atrapa cata na pros contos. There must be results in the name of Jesus. There must be results in the name of Jesus. There must be results in the name of Jesus. There must be results in the name of Jesus. There must be results. Hallelujah. The Bible says, let your light shine before men that they may see it. When men see, there is a level of notable results. You can argue all kinds of things, but you can't argue results. It says that they may glorify your father in heaven. The last prayer point, listen. Please, I want you to pray this with all your heart. Father, connect me to influential relationships this year. Just pray what I'm asking you to pray. Lift your voice. Connect me to men of influence across different strata. Men who will allow me ride on their success. Men who will allow me ride on their anointings. Men who will allow me ride on their influence. Men who will endorse me. Pray. Shekete koto sekete. Oh, send thou help to Zion, O great one. In the name of Jesus, send thou help to your people. Supernatural connections. That will give you in one day the labor of other people's lifetime. Men of influence in every mountain. Men of influence in the government. Men of influence in finance. Men of influence in the educational realm. Oh God, that in every area, raise men to stand for me. Raise men to speak for me. Raise men to advocate for me. Make my life easy this year. Pray. Make my life easy this year. As I serve you, let there be ease in my life. I rise upon the influence of many. I rise upon the strength of quality relationships on common access on common doors 
uncommon resources uncommon encounters hallelujah please when you go back i like all of you to listen to two teachings activating i mean um, activating breakthroughs the ministry of destiny help us listen to it again no matter how many times you've listened to it and then listen to activating seasons of greatness sit on that teaching and cry your heart unto god hallelujah i want to prophesy over your life please i want you to believe it believe it many of us ignore the power of prophecy to our detriment listen you don't god created provision you don't have to struggle your way by yourself there are people that have been put strategically to help you you can reject the help to your detriment there are people who have traveled far and near. There are whole families in this place. Travel distances and hours just to come. Some of you are within reach. Yet you will not open up your heart. Don't let people come and receive their blessings and go back. And you are there just make up your mind. The Bible said by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. He said by a prophet they were preserved. It's not human worship. There may be exaggerations here and there, but it does not. Prophecy is powerful. It can frame your reality. Please, I want you to believe it. Prophecy is very powerful. This is the crux of the meeting tonight because it will give you direction. Listen. Let me tell you how prophecy works. Look up. I know our time is gone, but let me just use one example. Come, anybody. Prophecy is like a charm. Listen. When it is spoken, it leaves as i'm speaking it's like a charm it comes upon you and creates an effect it makes things that should not have happened happen listen i told you the most superior the, of dimension of the prophetic is not the revelatory dimension the creative dimension of the prophetic is the most superior dimension the revelatory dimension is important it gives you direction and builds faith but the creative dimension is what is responsible for creating your reality. I prophesied as I was commanded. He said, and there was a sound. It's not like the sound was wrong. It was never there. Prophecy called it. Prophecy calls things that be not as though they are. Lift your hands as I speak over your life. Father, let there be results in the name of Jesus. In the name that is above all names, I speak unto you. An unusual anointing that will step you into encounters with the Holy Ghost. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. Listen. A dimension of unction that you have never functioned in in the name that is above all names i prophesy that this year you will ride upon a river an unction that will take you to superior levels in the spirit oh i command it to be so in the spirit i command it to be so in the spirit i pray for you the mark of favor that can come upon a man and produce uncommon access in the name that is above all names may that mark come upon your life right now i prophesy to you may that mark come upon your life right now may that mark come upon your life right now listen honor is an anointing there is an anointing that can come upon a man and make him honorable he says and Jabez was more honorable that anointing that makes men honorable i release it upon you right now 
or in 2016 receive that anointing for honor uncommon honor god will position men to celebrate your grace they will appreciate you they will sow into your grace I pray for you this year. May the spirit of revelation, illumination and insight into the mysteries and the operation of the kingdom, I release it upon you right now. Oh, eyes to see, eyes to see. I release it upon you. Uncommon dimension of access to spiritual realities. I release it upon you like a mantle in the name of the Lord Jesus. My goodness, there are strange impartations strong impartations that are happening to people by the anointing of the holy ghost by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus i release impartations of this unction the spirit of revelation strange levels of access in the spirit i open to you fountains fountains of light in the spirit i open you up to mysteries i open you up to mysteries in the name of jesus I open you up to mysteries, strange operation of mysteries. Hallelujah. Hear me. Every person who you must connect to to rise wherever they are is called a year of multiplied influence i'm prophesying to you please believe me from the north to the south the east and the west every anointing every grace you must connect to to rise i release access to you in the name of jesus access to people access to anointings access to opportunities in the name of jesus oh connect with influential people i release that anointing upon you receive it connect to influential people receive it right now influence influence i stand upon this apostolic office and i prophesy supernatural influence connect to people in government connect to people everywhere in the name of jesus they will listen to you when you speak. They will rise up to help you. Rise up for you. Every door that refused to open in 2005, in the name of Jesus, under this multiplied grace, we compel that door to open. In the name of Jesus, every door that refused to open every obstacle that refused to let you go right now in the name of jesus i command that door open now open now hear me i prophesy to your loved ones this year we force results in your family hear me again this year we command results in your family may the angel that has been assigned to koinonia the angels that have been dispatched to honor this prophetic word may they go to every family and begin to cause the word of god to come alive listen some of you it will not reach 24 hours your result will start coming believe me it will not reach 24 hours your results will start coming dramatic results listen 
Koinonia, you will hear testimonies this year that will make you afraid. People will come and stand here and you will think they are lying because of the breakthrough upon breakthrough upon breakthrough. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless the work of your hands this year. May an anointing come upon it in the name of Jesus. For students, I pray a level of grace and ease that you have never seen a level of superior intelligence i release it upon you right now i release it upon you right now listen this is the year of jubilee and i prophesy to you the opening of gates to every age long challenge prophetically and even historically this is the season of jubilee and in the season of jubilee you let go captives i command every captivity in this season of jubilee it must let you go right now in the name of jesus christ take god seriously more than ever before begin to press into god you've been coming for koinonia you are not a worker in any department locate a department and settle and commit yourself Muimaka sujada muimaka 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 sujada muimaka muimaka ninaimaka sujada Lord I give you I give you I give you the highest praise I give you I give you I give you the highest praise. I give you, I give you, I give you the highest praise. Very soon I'm going to give us room. About 10 minutes. And it's going to be exclusive expressions of gratitude. It's going to be you alone. I know you came for a miracle service. But father, mother, brother, sister, you're going to forget about whoever you came with. I don't know how you are going to express it, but I'll give us room shortly. You are going to begin to count your blessings and say, my God, was it not just last month I had an accident? I never gave you thanks for it. Lord, I'm, I'm grateful. I started small, but see what you have made out of my life. Lord, we started from two members and now we are 35. I thank you. I thank you. When a situation overwhelmed me, I did not know that morning will come, yet you have kept me. That it has become 20 years. I remember when they said I had a heart disease, for instance. Oh Lord, see what you have done in my life. They said people die in our village. They don't get to 20. Now I am 60 years. I give you thanks. Expressions of gratitude. We forget many times. We forget. We are asking God for more. Lord, do more for me. But you are alive. But you are healthy. You go to the hospital and see people hanging their legs. Hanging their legs for six months. And you hear them singing praises. Day and night with their legs hanging. If you can be grateful, not just tonight, if you make it a lifestyle i guarantee you there is no arsenal of hell against you that will prosper you will you will you will thank your way to the throne you will march through your challenges through thanksgiving until you get to the throne it's an unbeatable secret of greatness i thank god all the time i thank people all the time gratitude a simple but powerful secret that opens the heavens for a man. Hallelujah. Every, everywhere that I go, everything that I do, I'll hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my testimony. I'll hear him sanana I'll hear him 
빨개지나 아버마 마기네 예수야 바라지 Help me some 10 minutes you alone with your maker lift your voice and cry in whatever way you can and say my god i give you thanks my god i give you thanks go ahead you and your maker for the next 10 minutes for the next 10 minutes cry before him for the next 10 minutes That you have done for the battles that you have won for the things that you have done for the battles that you have won only you alone are worthy lord we magnify your name thank you jesus protector redeemer provider defender announcer lifter sustainer we thank you we thank you that the council of darkness has not prevailed over your people we thank you for the miracles we thank you for signs for wonders for food for shelter we thank you for your faithfulness for exalting our hands like the horn of the unicorn we thank you for miracle jobs we thank you we thank you we thank you thank you for our families Oh God, you have been good. Oh God, you have been good. Three more minutes. Give him thanks. Three more minutes.
I want us to thank God in one minute. Thank God in one minute for ENI and Koinonia. I'd like us to thank God for the awesome things he's doing. Let's tell him we are grateful people for giving us a platform where the sick can be healed, where lives can be transformed. Go ahead and thank him. Lord, we give you thanks. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We are grateful people. We are not ashamed to let the world see that you are the mysterious factor behind our advancement. We are not ashamed to declare to the world that you are our sustainer, defender, protector, our hope, our anchor. We have no other God we have no other place. You alone, oh God, deserve the glory. faithful you will command unprecedented levels of grace and the anointing if it ever embarrasses you to thank God then you will never see his glory if you are ever ashamed and so conscious of your reputation you are so conscious of your emoji man of God I'm a great this and that all those things are nonsense when you come before his presence you throw them aside say faithful God For the things you have done And the battles you have won Only you are worthy of our praise We magnify your name For the things you have done And the battles you have won Only you Magnify your name for the things you have done and the battles you have won. Hallelujah. Psalms 107. I already sense the power of God. We'll just read this and go straight into the ministrations. Psalms 1. 07 we're going to read verse 6 and then we'll read 28 to 30 I want to show you another mystery two mysteries one is gratitude the second listen is a mystery I've seen this thing many times in the Bible I want you to read it one to read stop just the A part one more time It says, then they cried unto the Lord. There is a mystery when a man cries to the Lord. I used to think it meant just lifting your voice and be loud. Until God opened my eyes. Every time you see them say in their distress, they cried unto God. In their distress. Crying unto God is more than talking. Crying unto God first starts with a revelation. That Lord, if you don't help me in this issue, I am finished. It's a revelation. For as long as you have options, you will never see God arise in your life. Until you exhaust all your options. And you come to a point where you say, Lord, they gave me the drugs in the hospital. But I acknowledge that is crying unto God. That you say, Lord, you are my priority. 
if you don't give me a husband i cannot get one if you don't give me a job there is no job for me crying to the lord is more than just saying oh god help me blind Bartimaeus cried and this was his cry thou son of david or not thou miracle worker i know you i know your power will you pass me by and leave me in my distress like this i'm blind but i've heard about you that you are the god who can wipe the tears of people i've heard about you that you are the one who makes the barren to sing i've heard about you that you are the one who raised Job back i've heard about you it says they cried unto the lord whenever you are in trouble stop discussing the key is to cry unto god we have prayer requests here many of us are standing trusting god to touch us the key tonight is to cry unto god and the bible says he delivered them out of their distresses verse 28 28 very quickly one more time let's read one to read again then they cried unto the lord in their trouble and what did he do he bringeth them out of their distresses next verse he maketh the storm a calm so that the waves thereof the waves that are killing you that looks like you will not survive he says god has the ability there is something he can tell that trouble it must hear his voice next verse he says then as a result they are glad because they be quiet so he bringeth them where unto their desired heaven listen god knows your intentions god knows your desire he has the ability to bring you to where your desired heaven but the key after gratitude you are authorized to cry to cry to the lord is not an embarrassment when you cry you are saying oh god let your goodness and your mercy speak at this point is not because of what i have done at this point is if it is with my intellect if it's with my money if it's with my connection i have failed i cry to you in my distress in the next one minute before i minister we are going to cry to god listen I told you crying to God is a revelation a revelation that acknowledges him as your only source tonight you are going to say Lord you are the only one you are the only one who can heal me I know this and tonight I cry to you the Bible says he can calm the storm he can calm the storm oh yes he can lift your voice and cry to your maker Thou son of David, let your goodness and your mercy speak over me tonight. Pray, Lord, there is nothing new about my situation. You have done it before. The Bible is full of records of your faithfulness. How you parted the Red Sea before people. How overnight you turned the captivity of men and women. Pray, Lord, I don't know how you will do it. But I know you can do it. They cried unto the Lord in their trouble. He said, Call upon me in the day of trouble. Cry to the Lord. My rent has expired. I'm not working. I have no idea. But I cry to you. I have multiple carryovers. I don't know what will happen to me. But I cry to you, thou, O oh God, the lifter up of my head, the one who is able to change my story. I've not come to an idol. It is within your power to help me. O oh, thou Ebenezer, arise for me. You are my Ebenezer, the helper of man. God can help you. Listen to me. God can help you. God can help you. They cried unto the Lord in their distress. Shake it. 
Cry unto the Lord and watch what he will do in your life. Don't give him options. Don't give him options. Lord, you are my only source. I cry to you. Pray. My only hope of entering into my desired heaven. Some trust in horses. Some trust in chariots. But we will trust in the name of our God. Lord, step in to the impossible. Do the impossible. Lift your voice and sing inside and outside. Lord, step in to the impossible. Do the impossible. Come on, let your faith rise tonight. Lord, step in to the impossible. Lord, step in, Lord, step in to the impossible. To the one more time, Lord, step in, Lord, step in. Step in. Hallelujah. The Lord is healing a lady right now. Please check yourself and you just come out to testify before we continue. I'm seeing a lady. You came here with severe pain on your neck. Check it now. Check it now. The Lord is touching you. The Lord is touching you. I'm seeing an elderly man in this place. Um, you've been having pains towards the lower abdominal region. The Lord has just touched that man right now. He's an elderly man. I don't know where that person is. Please testify. Check yourself. And immediately you find out you are healed. Make your way to the front. Make your way to the front. God is touching people right now. I don't know who I'm seeing an ear. God is touching someone's ear. It's like, I don't know if it's an ear issue. But God is touching it right now. God is touching it right now. God is touching it right now. Please check yourself. And make your way right now. Right now, let's just have two or three of those people. God is touching it right now. Right now. Doing a miracle for somebody. Um, I'm seeing somebody that has... I don't know if it's... Um, I don't know what to call it, but... It's like a serious stomach issue. It comes and hooks you. Literally, you are gasping for breath when that happens to you. It's like it literally holds you check yourself now you'll find out that the lord has touched you make your way to the front very quickly you can make your way right here miracles are happening come on give jesus praise miracles are happening miracles are happening god is touching people right now can you give jesus praise god is touching people god is touching people right now i'm seeing someone with an eye problem you see like a black object it comes and goes it's like a it's, it looks like a needle like a black object you'll be looking at people and then you will see it this has happened for a while but god has touched you right now who is that person make your way to the front right now i'm seeing someone's left leg outside in the overflow there is someone with a left leg issue left leg is like you came towards the, the, the um this area where i'm holding I'm seeing the power of God touch that area. Check it right now. Check it right now and confirm your healing. And make your way to the front. Check it right now. Confirm your healing. Make your way to the front. Hallelujah. Have they checked themselves? Sir? You've checked yourself? Okay, so quickly. 
We'll just take two or three. You can turn. Please come up. Come up. Let them come up. When you come, you can stand. Please come up, man. Come up, sir. Go ahead. Just tell us quickly, straight to the point. Praise the Lord. Uh, I have an ear issue and it normally scratch me sometimes. Okay. And I'm feeling better by completely. Give right Jesus now. praise. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. It never returns to you in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Please let's celebrate Jesus. Celebrate what he's doing. Yes, yes for some years I have been experiencing pain here. Pain at yes. the lower abdominal yes, region. Abdominal yes. yes. You know, I gave now, a word of knowledge yes. that there was somebody in lower abdominal region. Better. And how, how about better. now? Exactly. It's better. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we declare that it is perfected. Wow, the power of God is coming on you. It's perfected right now. Never to return to you. In the name of Jesus. Please check it, sir. Check it. Check it right now. Check it. It's Check getting it. better. Yes. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling you better. will be perfected in the name of Amen. the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Give Jesus praise. Praise the Lord. For the past two weeks now, I've been having ear pain. Ear it's pain. A, it's an attack. Okay. I have cold. I have cataract. So, this thing blocked my ear. I don't used to hear very well. So, now, I'm, I'm okay. Completely. Yes. Madam, what? The Lord is bringing increase for you. I'm seeing attack. I'm seeing a serious attack. Your money has gone down. Yes. Because this, this, I'm seeing this has to do with. I don't know if you sell hair or you are doing I, something. I have salon in center. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it's like an attack. This thing yes, has gone down. People are not even coming the way it used to be yes, before again. Yes, is that true? Yes. The Lord is saying, I should tell you in this miracle service, a restoration comes for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the restoration comes for you right now. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus praise. God is visiting situations right now. Visiting situations right now. Go ahead, please, quickly. I want to thank God because I've been having serious pain on my neck at times. Neck pain? Yes, okay, the lady I said with neck pain, how long? It's like, it's for months. It comes and goes. At times, it's like my entire head, my ear, it affects my ear, but... When you were speaking, I, I just turned and I felt it was gone. You felt it was gone. Hallelujah. Now, there is a lady, while they were giving a testimony, there's a lady here. You felt like a cold sensation. Something just came upon you right now. It's a miracle that God has given you. Who is that person? Come out. You are in this row. Where are you? Come. You felt like a cold sensation. Something just came over you. Come. Come. This night, God is bringing restoration. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your anointing bring restoration for her right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Tremendous restoration. I'm seeing a crown being put upon your head. Are you together? Are you together? I'm seeing a crown. Oh, you felt the same thing. I'm praying for you. Madam, the Lord is averting CS. The Lord is averting CS because, you see, the anointing is on you. The Lord is averting CS. I'm seeing a spirit standing by the theater and I'm seeing that this is even supposed to destroy this baby. That they say this baby comes out and is affected. But the anointing of the spirit is upon you right now as I'm speaking. And I release the power of God right now. Let that demonic substance out of her. Now. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Is your family here? Is the time for the visitation? Where is our family? Please come. There is a whole deliverance for a family that God is doing here right now. I see that family. Please, where is our daddy and our mommy? Please appreciate them as they come. Enough of the nonsense of darkness. Please celebrate them as they come. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Lord, we see miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Sir, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a cause. This is what I'm seeing. As I look at you, the Lord is showing me this is a cause. Number one, it has tied down your finances completely down. This thing is so embarrassing, it has tied down everything. 
I don't know who is it in your family that has dreams. I see dreams of someone chasing somebody. I don't know which of your children or who now. But I'm seeing one of those people have dreams. That's their daughter. You see the power of God touching her. She's their daughter. She's the person with this case I'm mentioning. I'm seeing dreams. And it's like people pursuing the person. This thing started right from your family. And this is already following this lady. Because I'm seeing now that the devil wants to put fibroid in her stomach. It's starting now as pain. I, I remove that fibroid right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I cause that seed of fibroid by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing this woman crying before God in prayer. This is what I'm seeing. This woman has been a defense. I'm seeing her crying before God and saying, Lord, will you not wipe our tears in this family? But tonight, we see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. But every time they want to indicate helping you, something just comes and nobody is willing to help you. Because I'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit. I'm seeing a body but I'm not seeing a face. This thing has covered your glory. Whoever is supposed to help you misunderstands you. And for some reason, they, uh, they don't help again. Hallelujah. Who is Adamu? I'm hearing a name, Adamu. Adamu, I'm hearing something that has to do with Adamu. Adamu, please help, help those on Adamu, I'm hearing Adamu. Who is that? Adamu, Adamu, huh? Where is your father? The person I'm talking about, his father's name is the one that is Adamu. Huh? What's your father's son name? Adamu. Adamu, yes. God is giving Adamu a miracle. Yes. Your father, right? Where is he? Adam, Nasarawa State. In Nasarawa State, yes, sir. because. This enchantment that is done against your family, enough is enough. It's part of your prayer request, right? Yes, number five, six, uh, number two and three. Yes, sir. Number two and three prayer requests. Yes, sir. Look at it there. Yes, that's sir. it. Number two and number three. That's what you wrote. Lord Read it. Miracle Read it. Miracle in your family. Yes, sir. That's what I'm reading, what you are writing. And God is giving a miracle, yes, a big miracle to Adamu. Miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Right now, right now, right now, right now. I see miracles everywhere. Love is a miracle. Miracles everywhere. We see miracles. Miracles everywhere. Right now, right now. The Spirit of God is ministering to me. I'm seeing the anointing of the Spirit. I'm looking at a map. And I'm seeing the spirit of God going to Yola. Yola. A miracle is happening in Yola. And it's going to this lady's family. This lady, right? I'm seeing a miracle. But there are two other people. From Yola. From Yola. I see the power of God moving. Two people. From Yola. It will come like a tornado upon you. It's a miracle that God is doing right there. There is a lady's elder sister who has been barren. I'm seeing the number three, three years. Barren, barren, help them. That lady is from Yolan. She's an usher, she's walking. But the spirit of God, I'm seeing is a wicked demon. This is what I'm seeing. That has been oppressing her family. I don't know if she's from Yola or not. But I'm seeing that God is doing a serious miracle. Sir. I'm going to pray for you mommy I will minister to you madam the Lord is saying I should tell you that the crying is over the crying is over right now as I speak the power of God is coming on you the Lord is saying I should tell you the crying is over right now the angel of the Lord is pouring something that looks like oil upon your head pouring it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the anointing of the Holy Spirit Pouring what looks like vials of oil. Now I curse this spirit. I address you by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
Let this family go now. 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 This cause that has tied down the family, even the lawful captive shall be delivered. He said, for I will contend with them that contend with you. Right now, the power of God is touching people. I see deliverance, 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 fire. Lift your hands, everybody. Let's just interrupt this. Deliverance, fire, right now. It will start touching people at the count of three. Father, the angels of God, there are many angels in this place bringing deliverance for families. At the count of three, let that fire come right now. One, two, three, receive it. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Makaparatata. Sheketetete. Bring them out. Lekete pratata. Deliverance for families. Outside. I'm seeing the angels of the Lord go outside. Outside. The power of God is moving. It's like fire coming on families. It's like fire. It's like fire. It's like fire. It's like fire. We see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. We see miracles everywhere. We see miracles. Miracles everywhere. We see miracles. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Father, where are those families you showed me in the place of prayer? That from the village. Now, I'm not one who just talks so much about village. But this one is from the village. I see an attack at the count of three. One, two, three. From the village. Those arrows back to sender. Shakatata. Leketata. Reketatata. From the village, I see enchantments. From the village, I see altars. I see covens. I set them on fire. I set them on fire. I set them on fire. They are calling your names. From the village, from the village, enchantments, witchcraft, death, outside, outside, fire is falling. What fire is falling? Fire is falling from the village, speakings of death, enchantments of death. Yahweh 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 The name above all names Yahweh We call Yahweh. you Yahweh I'm ready to pray for you now i didn't just leave you i need to pray for you my god there is massive deliverance going on in this place my dear lift your hands where you are an angel of the lord is touching you right now right now mama an angel of the lord is touching you he's doing something in your husband's life your husband's life there is a miracle that is happening Madam, your time for a miracle has come. Come, this woman, this woman wearing pink. No, 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 I mean, that one, the one turning back. Yes, you, madam, come. 
your time for a serious visitation has come let's stretch our hands towards daddy bring her be delivered now i curse that spirit go stretch our hands towards daddy and mommy let's pray for them father this plague must stop i saw a curse it was looking like a hollow over your head it follows you everywhere you go and brings bad luck to your life father in the name of jesus is over by the power of the holy spirit i announce a new season i announce a new season mommy the spell is broken 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 in the name of jesus christ sir i hold your hands in the name of jesus and i announce to you that it's a new season you will go back and experience dramatic turnaround in the name of jesus christ don't think it will come from all the channels you are planning unusual sources of breakthrough in the name of jesus christ god bless you madam i want to pray for Do you have a daughter? Is she here? One is here? I'm seeing one of your child here. Where is the person? A girl? A lady? A girl, yes. A lady, where is she? Please call her name, let her come. Daughter, where are you? Who is the person? She's wearing something like traditional dressing. Who is that? Come. This has been your desire that God will visit your family, right? It's been your desire, it's been your prayer yes, that God yes. will visit your family. Yes, and tonight, God has chosen to step in. See, it's an awesome thing when the light of God turns to you. Then you know that your situation has come to an end. I mustn't call you. It's not just by word of knowledge. It's not just by word of knowledge. lady is going to vomit something i'm seeing something that looks like a snake moving in her stomach this is like i don't know if it's poison this is something that has been put to this lady i curse that devil i curse you back to hell back to hell from where you came from hallelujah mommy please stand up let me pray for you man you can stand up please I want to pray for you. God is going to bring dramatic breakthrough to your life. Please, I want you to note it. Dramatic breakthrough. It will so surprise you. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let captivity come to an end. In the name of Jesus, captivity comes to an end. I release supernatural breakthrough. Supernatural breakthrough. Supernatural breakthrough in the name of Jesus. And for you, supernatural breakthrough. Mama, I pray. The Lord told me that... The tears have come to an end. It's wiping your tears. Father, thank you for your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Remember not the former things the Lord says I should tell you. In this season, he's doing new things. He will change the heart of your husband in a way that you never imagined. He will do this for his glory. The spell of bad luck over your life is broken. Bad luck. There's something about your life that makes people hate you. It's a spirit. And there are people here. Lift your hands, everybody. I'm praying for you. Whatever makes people hate you for no reason, I want you to know that it's not normal. You will see what will happen right now. There are people here. I know that people have those kinds of things. But there are people with those things. It's like an aura on you. As I was ministering to her, the Lord said, minister to the house. Father, where are they? Right now, in the name of Jesus, let the anointing locate them. Inside and outside. That spell of bad luck. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Justina, the Lord is bringing miracles to your family. Miracles to your family. I'm seeing a lady from, is it Oka? Oka, that should be East. I'm, I'm, Oka, is there anyone from like that? I'm seeing a lady. Our minister generally will pray for the sick now, but I just want to flow. Oka, 
Oka. Is there someone like that? Please, if you are like that, you can make your way to the front. The Lord wants me to pray for that family. My dear, you with a white hair tie, that lady, you turning back, lift your hands where you are. I don't know what it is that I'm seeing, but God is destroying an embargo over your life and family. Lord Jesus, I destroy it right now. In the name of Jesus, where you are standing, I destroy it by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are from there? You are from Oka? Where is that? Anambra State. Anambra State? Yes. I'm going to pray for you. You're also from there? Huh? Make your way to the front. You are from there too. Three of you. Look at me. You cannot be a victim, you and your sisters, of the wickedness of people in the village. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Hold my hands. Father, it must end. This must end. It must end by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. This is, this is, I'm seeing enchantment. This is, this is witchcraft to produce consistent failure in life. You and your sisters, I pray for you. Father, you are going to visit them in this season. You are going to visit them in this season. In the name of Jesus. I want to minister to you. You are from there too. Come stand. The Lord gave me that word and said to minister to the people. As I lay my hands and minister to you, I want you to know that everything that does not represent God, huh? and everyone pursuing you in your dream and disturbing you, it must end in the name of Jesus Christ. For you, there is, there is, I'm seeing something that looks like a crown in your head. We must remove it because it's not God that put that crown. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ, that devil is a liar. Take it off of her. The Lord Jesus Christ. Where is your mother, my dear? Huh? Abia State. Abia State. We are going to pray for you. Tell your mother that a deliverance is coming for her. Then a breakthrough. Deliverance first, then breakthrough. For the deliverance, she will see it in a dream. It's like something will be chasing her to catch her, and she will see somebody who will snatch her out. It's a dream connoting deliverance. Father, visit this family. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ. A student here huh? yes. we must pray for you so that the spirit that destroys men when they are about to finish huh? in your family we must stop it in the name of Jesus Christ glorify yourself oh God I curse this spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ lift your hands everyone Before I begin to minister to the sick, God is bringing deliverance to families right now. We are going to shout Jesus at the count of three. This is not just to you, but God is stepping into families. Some of you never knew that what is happening physically in your family is as a result of all kinds of things. Devils. Lift your hands, everybody. At the count of three, you shout Jesus at the top of your voice. And the power of God will move mightily in this place. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you step into families and end every oppression and every captivity right now i pray by the power of the holy spirit every family shakatatata, under any demonic siege my goodness the power of god is already touching people right now at the count of three let that shout be like a code in the spirit one two three be delivered now 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 altars be broken altars be broken over families over families inside and outside and those following online i break it right now every family under any spell every family that's right kabatakata bring them out shakatatata Every family under any spell. Oh, you must leave them. You must leave them. I speak to those spirits. Hear my voice. In the name of Jesus. 
there is no hiding place for you you must go you must go you must go it's time for their deliverance you must go hallelujah my goodness god is doing miracles right now god is so help that lady please help them sisters lift your hands i want to pray for just the sisters something remarkable will happen right now remarkable there is a spirit that puts women in bondage because when one woman is in bondage it can affect a thousand men there are ladies oh my goodness the fire of god will move not small sisters lift your hands lord by fire as the sisters cry that spirit that seraph that follows ladies and causes them visiting them in dreams as you shout jesus my goodness i pray that those fallen spirits that will not let you go that did not keep their original estate they will be judged right now father locate every one of these sisters right now one two shout jesus right now right now right now right now right now those spirits go 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 lift your hands there are people here strange dreams strange dreams in the night you sleep in the night and you have all kinds of strange dreams from men or women or animals coming to sleep with you or people tying your legs and you see what is happening in the day whether you believe it or not is not the issue i want to settle those things right now lift your hands lord where are these people from the dream realm from the realm of the spirit as you shout the name jesus anyone under this condition some of you that's what is responsible for masturbation some of you that's what is responsible for pornography some of you that's what is responsible for delay lift your hands father those spirits that use the realm of dreams and visions and manipulate destinies manipulate the stars of your people at the count of three we set them on fire fire comes upon you now many guys will be affected one two three oh i bring you deliverance in the name of jesus i cause those spirits causing delay you must leave now 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 Go, 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 go. That spell of delay must leave. Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute. I'd like you to pray and cause delay from your life. In the next one minute, open your mouth and say enough is enough. I must move forward. Pray. Please pray. Take it seriously. It's called a miracle service. It's called a miracle service. Pray. Lord, I'm tired of delay. yes 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 prophesy i'm moving forward this is the ninth month by the blood of jesus i'm moving forward i'm moving forward under this anointing hallelujah 
Hallelujah. I like you to shout after me. Say in the name of Jesus. Every gate and every obstacle standing between me and the next level by the blood of Jesus I bring those gates down open your mouth and begin to pray gates of limitations standing before me and my desired heaven gates of limitation standing before me in the name of Jesus gates of limitation standing before me and my desired heaven outside make sure you are praying pray you will return with a testimony you are praying under a corporate anointing hallelujah hallelujah say after me in the name of Jesus everything that belongs to me and is not yet in my life in this season by the power of faith I command them to manifest open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and pray come on koinonia everything every lifting every glory that belongs to me and has refused to manifest by the power of faith even God who quickened the dead and called those things that be not as though they were hallelujah hallelujah say after me in the name of Jesus every legal access every claim the devil has over my life over my family by the blood of Jesus I declare that I'm free by the blood of Jesus I command my liberty I declare that the price for my freedom has been paid therefore Satan stay off my life open your mouth and begin to pray stay off my life the price has been paid by the death of Jesus every cause every yoke every spell every enchantment by the blood of Jesus pray Hallelujah. I want you to listen to me carefully. I'm doing this by the Spirit. Listen, many breakthroughs are happening to people just from this simple prayer. I wish that God could open your eyes to see the things that are happening to people. You are, this is not just your normal prayer. You are under a heavy anointing. Listen, human beings have prophetic atmospheres. The ark of God came into the house of Obed Edom and brought him good. Jonah entered a boat and made people to be destroyed. Listen, some of you are good people, but you are carrying a spiritual atmosphere that brings bad luck to you and everybody connected to you that's what prophets sometimes will see and because they don't have discernment they call people witches and wizards they are not witches and wizards they are sincere people but they carry a spiritual climate that everywhere they go it makes certain things to happen do you understand now some of you are sincere people but you are carrying atmospheres that makes everything around your life to fail we are going to pray say after me in the name of jesus 
by the blood of Jesus this is strong prayer this simple prayer you are saying you will see the result instantly I like you to pray and say every atmosphere that I carry that does not come from God and is responsible for bad luck and misfortune in my life tonight I declare let that atmosphere change lift your voice and pray seriously lift your voice and pray seriously every negative atmosphere kaparatata pray miracles are happening pray every negative atmosphere pray that brings bad luck I may be a sincere person but it brings repeated misfortunes I challenge it whether ancestral whether territorial I challenge it I change my spiritual climate by the blood of Jesus hallelujah two more prayer points and we'll pray for the sick hallelujah we are going to pray a prayer of restoration do you believe in restoration nothing is ever truly lost it only leaves your presence I like us to pray yeah that's the song everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen one more time forget about your situation just prophesy just prophesy you may not know how it will happen just prophesy one more time prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me shout it say in the name of Jesus all the years all the fortunes every opportunity every access that has been lost in my life by the mercy of God I command them to come back to me go ahead and pray this is a serious prayer point all the years all the fortunes all the opportunities all the access that have passed your life pray like Samson pray like Hezekiah pray let there be a restoration and I will restore to you the years that the canker worm the palmer worm, the caterpillar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to pray the last prayer point. Listen. There are spirit entities that challenge and haunt the destiny of people. In the realm of the spirit when Jesus was born certain men saw his star from the east and they started following that star and the moment they announced to Herod a king is born Herod said ah a king he said please find where he is and tell me so that I will come and worship him but his intention was to kill him you are going to pray over your destiny Please take this prayer point seriously. 
Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I declare that my destiny is secured by the blood. Every act of witchcraft that has tied down my destiny right now by the blood of Jesus. Release it now. Pray, pray. Release my destiny. Release my destiny. My prophetic potential. Release it. Release it. Hallelujah. Prophesy after me, say in the name of Jesus. This is my year of the rain. It's a new dimension for me. I'm breaking every limitation. Say it again. I'm breaking every limitation. And I declare that in this remaining part of the year, an anointing comes upon my life that causes me to triumph that causes me to excel go ahead and pray it lord is my year of the rain an anointing comes upon my life a speedy walk by the holy ghost a speedy walk of restoration a speedy walk hallelujah we're going to do two things at the same time right now listen if there is any trace of sickness and infirmity in your body it's time for it to die are we together now are we together now please just address these people we're going to have all those people come and line up while that is happening please i beg you if you do not write anything in your prayer request please if you need papers maybe the ushers can pass it we are going to be praying on everybody's request those on facebook some of your loved ones you are permitted to switch off your switch on your phone and tell them please send in your prayer request because god is about to do something right now while you are doing that be praying in tongues everybody be praying in tongues while sick people all those who brought sick people make your way to the front very quickly please very quickly all those trusting god for healings and miracles please just line up Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be restored unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be restored unto you. The devil is a liar. He must Everything let you go tonight. That was stolen shall be restored unto you. Hallelujah. We don't just lay hands on people. I know that it takes a lot of time. But it's the way God is directing us. It's not just ordinary hand laying. It's a prophetic point of contact. Some of you are coming out for sickness. But the truth about it is that there is an oppression of darkness. Is that the mama with cancer? Okay. No, no problem. No problem. She can come. If she cannot stand, just give her a seat. Let her sit down, please. Those who are weak and cannot stand, please, you can give them a seat so that they don't collapse. The, the woman with cancer, if she, if she cannot come, just I'll minister to her. Everything that was lost. Make sure you are writing your prayer request, please. Everything that was lost. Hallelujah. All of you that are coming out, I want you to know that we are patient enough to minister to us. There are all kinds of ministries. This ministry is like a spiritual factory. It's like a spiritual workshop. It's where we dirty our hands on the job. And as I minister to us, please, I want our hearts to be open. Don't just stand watching the power of God touch people. The moment I lay hands on you and minister to you, I want you to receive. You can go back to your seat. Some of you will be under the anointing. It doesn't matter. As I pray for you, you don't have to scrounge. I will lay hands on everybody. 
it's going to be a quick walk it will take time please when you write your request pass it to the ushers in case there are things listen listen let me teach you how to maximize this prayer point don't just write things carelessly while you are writing be praying in tongues because the spirit of god will bring into your mind bring you into remembrance it may even be a matter that is not your own you heard the story of the gentleman dropped a prayer point and nine months later they are coming with twins there is nothing god cannot do father in the name of jesus i pray over your people there are powers tying down their destinies but you have put this miracle service as a prophetic platform let there be miracles go ahead all of us we can join praying in tongues while i pray for these people occasionally worship team you will help us lord we give you praise in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ look at this i don't know they can't see it on screen it's not clear this is a leg that is bent father do a miracle they didn't fix it well in the name of jesus right now let the power of god do a miracle on this leg in the name of jesus Almighty God, you know me, my Lord. You know me, my Lord. Out! Now you be God. Almighty God, you know me, my Lord. You know me, my Lord. You know me, my Lord. point number two lord i take full delivery of everything you package uniquely for me tonight lift your voice i will not miss out on anything yeah. Yeah. hallelujah who brought this woman please huh? what's the issue what's wrong she... hallelujah we'll soon be rounding up let's just hear no 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 keep us standing what's wrong I'm paralytic. Nice. paralyzed yes. mama can she talk yes mama for how long I paralyzed did. yes i went to the house and met she can't walk on her own she can't walk very well mama in the name of jesus christ i curse this spirit it's okay in the name of jesus mama look at me in jesus name lift your hand lift it go don't look at, just lift it put it down lift it again paralyzed hand look at this look at this mama clear the way for her in the name of jesus christ walk come don't hold her come 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 turn around turn around walk come 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 on give jesus praise like miracles come. everywhere miracles everywhere paralyze miracles everywhere Jesus. 
I break the power of paralysis. It never returns to you again. In the name of Jesus, you are the son that brought her. You are, she's not your mom, yes. but you brought her. Yes. I pray for you. May you never lack helpers in your life. Because you are a young man, you are not related to her. Yet you carried mama out of compassion. This miracle is because of you. I'm laying hands on you and I prophesy to you. All the days of your life may help us be around you like this. In the name of Jesus Christ. For as long as your eyes can see the sun, you will find a helper. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Celebrate mama. God bless you. ministry come and stand here it's time for you to take fresh fire please if you come out and you are not a minister i will send you back i assure you don't embarrass yourself if you're a minister and you know not just that you sense the call of god please don't embarrass yourself we are going to pray for everybody but if you're a minister come go ahead don't be afraid we're in a season of god's glory please listen we're in a season of God's remarkable grace. It takes signs and wonders. Not just grammar and story. The Bible is not waiting for the explanation of the sons of God. For the manifestation. Please, I'd like you to believe. I'm going to do this very fast. The Lord has instructed me. Immediately after we do that, all visitors, visitors alone. I will not lay hands on you, but I'll pray for you. And then we'll pray for the request, prophesy. We're out. We'll do all this within the next 10 minutes so that we're done. Father, I pray. It's not by might, it's not by power. Lord, as I lay hands upon your servants, let something new, something divine. My God, I pray. Activate the gifts of the spirit in them. Activate the operations of signs and wonders. Shkabalata. Let utterance be given unto them. Let their lives, oh God, produce results. Results, oh God. Results. Signs. Wonders. Miracles. By your hand. Take the fire. Take the fire, 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 
take the fire 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 fresh fire fresh fire fresh fire fresh fire fresh fire fresh fire new levels fresh fire fresh fire fresh fire fresh fire new dimensions fresh grace my goodness fire is falling fresh fire fresh fire fresh fire fresh grace fresh fire fresh fire fresh fire fresh fire fresh grace fresh anointing new anointing new dimension gifts of the spirit vision dreams prophecies multiplied graces I prophesy to all of you let it be a new season in the name of Jesus new season new season new season I empower you for a new dimension in the spirit I empower you fresh grace fresh grace please stretch your hands towards the prayer request unto thee that answers prayers shall all flesh come please stretch your hands it's a prophetic instruction God gave us we have seen amazing testimonies if there are still people left please let them come let them drop it very quickly in one minute I'd like you to begin to pray Lord it's time to turn my story around my goodness as we pray miracles will begin to happen to people right in the crowd right in the crowd as I'm touching the request something is happening to you something is happening I'm seeing angels lightning all over all over all over father in the name of Jesus we pray go ahead and pray everyone of miracles happening in the realm of the spirit father turn these requests into testimonies the way I walk on them oh God these problems remain under our feet forever in the name of Jesus Christ under our feet forever 
in the name of Jesus Christ. All our visitors, please come out quickly. If you're a visitor here, you're a visitor, this is your first time. Hallelujah. The Lord spoke to us last year. He said we should prophesy and pray over the visitors. Some of you have traveled kilometers. You have traveled from different states of this nation. Risking yourself through the night. Please make sure you come. Clear the way for them. You are a visitor. This is your first time you are coming here. Make your way to the front. Let's celebrate them. <laughs> Hallelujah. You see what I'm saying, people? The number of visitors that troop in every week into Zaria for Koinonia is getting so much. We have to find something to start doing around your regions so that we save some of you transporting yourself. Maybe we'll open a branch of Koinonia in all those places. Maybe we'll come to your village. Hallelujah. But seriously, we're trusting God for instructions for the next level. And I'm sure that very soon he's going to speak. But I perceive that very soon there's going to be a lot of expansion because of what God is doing. Hallelujah. Are you glad about that? Let's celebrate Jesus. God has brought you here. Your life will never be the same. Please lift your hands. Father, you have brought these people all the way. Some of them with burdens. Some of them coming to catch fire. I stretch my hands towards you. Kaborato shatabaladaba. Nandeka lekoroto suto prashia. My goodness, I see impartations happening to people. Those of you standing, I'm seeing impartations. It's like rain, rain touching people. That's what I see. These are showers of blessings, showers of miracles. I prophesy to you from tonight. Help them, help them, help them, help them, please. I prophesy to you. Step into new levels. In the name of Jesus Christ, step into new dimensions. This is Koinonia, a place of encounter. It's not just the name of a meeting. It's the name and the dimension of the operation of the Spirit. We bless you with hunger for God. We bless you with passion for the things of the Spirit. I'm praying for you. You will go back with such fire. You will go back with such passion you will not recover from. I pray that everything that has not been working in your life, let it be activated tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I welcome all of you. Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia, a meeting put together by Eternity Network International. We're here every Friday. Um, this is not our usual venue. Our venue is Christ Gospel Church at New Extension. But we thank you for coming. I bless you in the name of Jesus. And I'm praying for you from the depth of my heart and on behalf of everyone in this ministry and the many who are joining us online that you will return with a strange miracle. In the name of Jesus, you will return with a strange miracle. Some of you, even before you get home, your miracles will be waiting for you. Some of you, this night, you will have dreams and encounters and the veil over your eyes will be opened. Some of you, this night, God will show you what has been happening in your life. God will show you direction. I see God giving a lot of you direction. Direction for the next level. You will hear his voice very accurately. In the vision of the night. In the vision of the night he will show you. In the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you. For those of you who have never been here. I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. They will have your details outside very quickly. And then you will come and join us. Those of you who have been here and we have received you. You can just go back to your seat with a blessing. But those of you who have never been here, you've not put down your name. We need your names and details. I want you to make your way here in the name of Jesus. Everybody rise as we receive the last prophecy for the meeting. Now you be God. Almighty God. You know be my name. Na him be God, Almighty God. You know me, you know. Two 
more times. Now you be God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tomorrow morning we are off to Pogi State. We are going to be tearing down the walls of darkness. Trust God to set that territory free. Pray for us and if you come from Pogi, stand by us and tell and let's trust God to really do something apostolic in that land in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now please this for me you always hear me say this i consider this to be the most important part of the meeting because this is where everybody gets to receive the creative power of the spoken word the creative power of prophecy this is where the word of god comes into you like a drug and literally literally alters you and so i want you to receive with your heart open hallelujah please receive with your heart open in the name of Jesus Christ as I pray for you I want you to receive by shouting a resounding amen no more tears in the name of Jesus no more tears in the name of Jesus I prophesy no more tears in the name of Jesus no more tears in the name of Jesus no more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears, Kapakatata. No more tears in the name of Jesus. These hands that are lifted, I prophesy. May a supernatural anointing come upon it. Let it begin to produce extraordinary results. In the name of Jesus Christ. Extraordinary results. I pray for everyone due for promotion and every of your loved ones due for promotion in the name of Jesus we cause the embargo stopping their promotion and we prophesy promotion there will be testimonies of promotion the power of God is touching people everyone and every family called jobless I feel like fire on my hands as I'm about to pray this. Please help them. I feel like fire on my hands. Everyone represented here and every family called jobless. Right now in the name of Jesus, I release an anointing for supernatural jobs. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Help them please. Receive it, receive it. Testimonies of jobs. Testimonies of jobs. Testimonies of jobs. Every delay in your life that has stopped you from entering where you should enter now. The anointing that came on Elijah that he girded his loins and ran. Receive that anointing right now. I cause delay in the name of Jesus. I cause delay in the name of Jesus. Everyone who has vowed that over their dead body for you to rise and your family to rise, I declare that to their shame my God will lift you before them my God will lift you before them my God will lift you before them everyone who says can anything good come out of your life I prophesy to you in this season God will use your life to answer them God will use your life to answer them I pray for
for you in the name that is above all names whoever needs to come into your life in this season no let's start it this way whoever needs to go out of your life this season in the name of jesus if their presence has been causing you pain and setback i break you free from them now wrong associations be free from them now wrong relationships we break it now wrong soul ties we break it now wrong connections we break it now wrong fraternities we break it now we break it now we break it now i command them out of your life out of your family listen some of our parents the trouble in their life is because they have wrong friends they will never leave they keep influencing them to make useless decisions i pray for every family any stranger manipulating the destiny of any family through the counsel of Ahitophel, today we send them packing from their homes packing from your homes in the name of jesus until samuel appeared the destiny of saul remained covered until jesus appeared 12 years of hemorrhage continue whoever must appear in your life whoever must appear magato topata you hear me talk of destiny help us all the time your next level comes from god but through the hands of a destiny helper from the realm of the spirit destiny help us i call you from the north from the north from the south from the east from the west wherever you are locate god's people come into their lives in the name of jesus every academic challenge you have tried and done everything you know to do but you need a miracle in the name of jesus i release my faith upon with you receive academic miracles now 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 we activate angels to faculties angels to departments angels to faculties faculty of art science environmental design medicine engineering administration education we release them now miracles in the name of jesus that favor anointing that makes men run to look for people to bless them i pray for you when the favor of god came upon my fever shed saul looked for him and blessed him receive favor right now unusual favor uncommon favor uncommon favor in the name of jesus before i pray the last prayer point listen if you're here and you've not given your heart to jesus christ please i can't pray this last prayer point without making this sure because i want to pray something dangerous if you're here you've never given your heart to the lord please listen inside and outside or you once gave your heart to jesus christ but for some reason you see they're already coming out follow them you found out that you need to make your ways right please our time is limited in one minute inside and outside you're welcome make your way to the front god bless you bless you they are coming going on here celebrate them don't sit back don't sit back this is a family this is not all of you i believe there are still some people outside clear the way for them please clear the way god bless you sirs bless you sirs celebrate them jesus is calling you god bless you ma calling you to give you a new beginning 
please if they are coming clear the way for them so that they don't become discouraged motivate them clap for them thank you jesus come run to jesus christ he will give you a new beginning if the holy spirit is telling you to come out come out don't sit back there don't sit back there many of you are hearing the nudging of the spirit he's saying why are you sitting down don't argue with him make your way hallelujah thank you so much for coming out brothers and sisters i want to lead you in a prayer of salvation it's not a poem it's not a special number it's a it's a genuine prayer of dedication god bless you hallelujah lift your right hand high to heaven and say this very passionately please you are not reciting a poem this is not an article you are praying to god this is a prayer that is going to save your soul and redeem you and empower you to be great say lord jesus i believe in you and i love you with all my heart i ask you to forgive me my sins i receive jesus christ into my heart be my lord be my savior from today my past is gone it's a new beginning i receive eternal life into my spirit the old is gone and the new has come in the name of jesus christ i pray for you right now i stretch my hands father these ones have come to make a decision for you i pray that this decision will be permanent they will never backslide no going to the world no going to the flesh i release grace upon you to live the victorious christian life in the name of jesus christ every wrong association every company of wicked and senseless people you will not have any appetite and desire to be close to them again you will love them but you will not associate with them again i receive grace for you to edit your friends wicked and unreasonable people are far from you forever in the name of jesus christ i bless you congratulations in the name of jesus it's a new beginning please follow the gentleman waving his hands and they will have your details will follow you up in the name of jesus please lift your hands for the last prayer point i want to pray for the gift of the spirit to fall upon your life this is why i said we have to pray for them please lift your hands just a quick walk in one minute some of you have passionately desired certain things some of you have had dreams but you cannot understand god is speaking to you there are many of you that have longed to hear the voice of god you are praying and somehow you hear it but there is no clarity and direction there are some of us that are trusting god for newer levels of the anointing the gifts of the spirit please lift your hands in one minute i'm going to pray there will be a great impartation upon you all the gifts of the spirit the nine recorded in the bible and every other one that is available in god father i'm praying right now as your people shout i receive let there be mighty impartations there are people here who will carry strange fires strange grace at the count of three shout i receive one two three receive it right now right now right now right now gifts of healing impartations visions 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 prophetic encounters Kaparatata. receive it right now in the name of jesus word of knowledge word of wisdom gift of leadership administration dreams visions entrepreneurship every gift available receive it now now please help that lady so she doesn't enjoy herself i pray for you what you could not do by the gift of the spirit go and begin to do it where you could not enter by this new anointing go and enter nothing dies in your hands in the name of jesus christ Celebrate jesus and be dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. 
and that is I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye